I'm Lance Bass. I'm a chicken nuggy. I am a disgruntled ex Naughty Dog employee. I'm a failed vibe check. I'm Justin. I'm the real Slim Shady. I'm Sam. And we're the idiots of us. And you're listening to Crazy Train of Thought on the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to bigheadsmedia.com for more great podcasts. Oh, I'm not like your other girls. I'm quirky. How is the snake? The one where you're like, they give you a handy out of respect for you as a human being. You can't win, Darth, as I wiggle my tip at you. Like that goddamn Vin Diesel. So what the fuck are you doing? I don't know you, but I like you. Wait a minute, you can't play as a baby. People fuck me, and I fuck back. No, he fucking did it. We're going off the rails on a crazy train! Of that! Check a look. Welcome, everybody, to Crazy Train of Thought, brought to you by the Idiots of Oz. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am your host, Ryan Wolf. Yay! We are live. From Savant Studios. Savant Studios. Joining me today, I have... Pokemaster Master Troy Osborne back. Pokemaster Master Troy He's Osborne back. is back on the pod. Back. Thank you for being here, Troy. Yep. Appreciate you stopping by. Next. Bilbo Swaggin, straight from the Shire. Bilbo Swaggin is back this week. Viking without a long ship, Justin Campbell. Ooh. Justin Campbell is hey, here. Hey, hey, yeah. I, I came out of quarantine for this. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, in Indiana quarantine technically doesn't end until tomorrow. Well, I'm Friday, in Michigan. So. So. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, that got it even longer. Got a while. Okay. And also, long lost homeless man Austin. Homeless man Austin is back. I'll find you. Glad you're here. Mm. We found you huh? back on the pod. Yeah. Back on the Roaming pod. the streets. <laughs> be like Walking Dead. Awesome. I'll come find you. Spare podcast. <laughs> You're like spare pod coins. <laughs> spare Twitch subs. <laughs> Lastly. Colin freaking Giffy. Colin Giffy is back on the pod. Back on the pod. Back on the pod. Glad yeah. you're here, Colin. On the pod. Fucking I, A. I like being here. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we are I all lied. obviously <laughs> keeping our six feet apart. Social distancing, quarantine Austin and I measures. Are, are less than six inches That's apart. That's not true. <laughs> I'm about one and a half, so. <laughs> Have inches, you ever been more apart. than that, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we got a shit ton of stuff to get to today, listeners, so we're going to jump right into it. Colin. Damn. You have oh. a Pavlov update. Oh, yeah. Real quick for um, the listeners. Well, my co cap my team co-captain, so this guy just decided to join our team out of nowhere, and... Uh, kind of been taken over lately okay so grim is annoying you um kind of well he decided to message me on because i was playing call of duty with my brother so i just got that new monitor and everything that night so i got a new, i'm getting a new pc just got the monitor Woo! in so i decided to play some call of duty with my brother and i didn't really feel like playing pavlov that night because i wanted to play in my monitor because mm-hmm. like, you know i just got it and i really wanted to experience that for sure so uh our oh, that same night our co-captain messages me and he's like hey um i see you haven't been on enough or whatever and he's like i think we need to practice together more and i'm like if three days isn't well i didn't say anything i was just like hey man been busy that's all i said he goes yeah well, i guess there's not much you can do that i'm like well f- fucking three days out of the week i'm practicing like if that's not enough then i can't fucking do this what so i literally jackass. just i literally just went to the website because you have to go to the website to do it then i removed myself from the nova sixers and immediately sent a notification to discord it was like dead eye has left the nova sixers <laughs> so we're like telling everybody so the whole fucking league knows that i left this team so uh, wow and Re- then after that it goes J- dead eye has joined ringers which means like i fill in for people yeah so i'm still playing i just don't have a specific team that i play for yeah so i still get to play occasionally when a team's looking for somebody to fill in so is this like a, so you get, you don't get paid to play or anything? no I don't get paid but they do offer like like uh, certain tournaments and stuff where you, you uh-huh. have an opportunity to get so paid if you win. what the fuck is this dude's deal I don't know what this fucking dude's deal is our team is ass and he's like <laughs> I imagine and, that he might have been single for I'm too pretty long decent in his life. like he's uh. good too but like for, he's good and re- he's really good in practices like he always gets the most kids out of all of us but like whenever we actually have a league match he always does the fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when like, you're playing your brother. And then it's you so stupid. No, too listen to this fucker. Okay, so 
um we had we have like six people and there's only five people that can play at a time so we had to have we had a rotation okay so it was our idea because in the past we've had people be like oh if if you're not doing so hot you'll be the, the last person will rotate out if you're not the person that sucks right the most in the right match, yeah i remember out. you had said well that. it was him this time and he goes well i don't think i should be the one to rotate out he goes i really think i have a lot to offer on this next map no he fucking didn't <laughs> For one, <laughs> did he, he play again? Rotate out? He didn't rotate out. Someone else did. It was like fucking. They're like, fine, I'll do it. And I'm like, that's just horse shit. Dude. What a douchebag! You're not even the you captain. Said You're the, the fucking you said that was gonna happen too. Like, yeah, I get the captain. Like, I get the captain needs to stay on the team because he's leading the team, but not the fucking co-captain. Kick his ass. He's like, he's like well, the yeah. Mike Pence of but the group. That, my it. my <laughs> captain, my captain messaged me. And he even tried to fucking defend me at all. Let me pull up this message oh, here. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, yeah. Got oh, yeah. we got the DMs. Yeah. So he randomly <laughs> DMs. He decides to... Shit. So Grimm's never messaged me back. But he messaged me, like, right after the match that night. He goes, hey, you out? I didn't know. I said, yeah, I can't practice every day. Like, Grimm wants me to, so I'm out. He goes, no problem. Let us know if things change. Like, bitch, you couldn't have even been like, fuck Grimm's? No, yeah. you're just like, yeah, let me know if things change. Well, obviously, you're not no. dedicated enough to the sport. So. <laughs> yeah, fuck you guys, dude. I have a video game podcast. I gotta play video games for that? Like, fuck, man. <laughs> fuck, man. I need to play more video games than just Pavlov. Like, shit. Yeah, no, yeah, for dude. sure. It's I mean, like- you've primarily only been playing yeah, Pavlov for but lately I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. Most I mean, of this year. Yeah. You could be like Call Sam and only play Skyrim, which That's actually I true. played Call of Duty with Sam that I need to talk I about. I did too. It was what? Yeah. Yes. That was funny. It was fun. All right, fine, fucking go. <laughs> Let's hear it. Sam is actually really tactical yeah, with he's Call of tact- Duty, he and is. I liked it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Are we talking about Sam Romero, Sam. Pod, friend of the pod, Sam friend Romero? Of the pod. Yeah. That is the <laughs> same the guy. Pod. The tie to our pod. <laughs> Mr. Oops, actually. <laughs> the tie to Mr. Our Oops. Pod. His name is Mr. Oops. <laughs> Okay, let me hear it, Troy. I, I am impressed already. So I called my brother when he got his wife pregnant. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that Sam got your wife's brother no, pregnant? No, I yes. said that's what I called okay. my brother okay. when he got his Sam is oh. also a slayer. <laughs> does, he, does, does he keep adding an O to the oops for each child? Ooh. Slayer, Mr. Mr. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mike. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Sam is actually... Really good at Call of Duty. Really? Yeah. I thought he had been playing more, in all honesty, because I played with him, too. I think we were all in a game together yeah, at one yeah. point. Okay, it's... well, tell me about it. Fucking talk. Sam was freaking awesome. It was crazy. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect that. What did you guys yeah. play? Warzone? Warzone, okay. yeah. We yeah. played Warzone. Um, It was me and P- me, Sam, Patrick, friend of the pod, Yep. and Phil over here. Okay. And we did pretty decent I was actually one of the worst people on the team, and I was actually surprised by that. Sam consistently made it to be the last part of our team. Wow. Yeah. He's playing on PC, though, so it's easy. Yeah, but he's playing on, like, a really old PC with <laughs> shitty internet, so what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Damn. That's fair. Yeah, man. That's fair. Are you get sure he's playing on PC? Is huh? he playing on PC? Yeah. Huh. yeah I will say, after we stopped playing for a bit, I was playing so much with friends of mine, so I'm getting a little bit better, too. Yeah. Me, too. I haven't played Warzone, but I'm getting so great. Did yeah. you guys win? We got fourth. Remember, you were watching us. Oh, that was the stream. Okay, that I was gotcha. Sam. Mr. Yeah. Oops was Sam. I did get a win over the weekend. I want to say nice. when I was playing nice. with another friend of mine. First game we played together. We hop in. We're like running around owning people. He dies. I pull a truck up to like guard myself from getting shot. I grab his money, run right before the smokes come and pop him back in, and then we run in and we're just hiding under a truck and we pop, 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 pop few people and we're like, where's this last fucking person? So he climbs up on the truck and dirt, 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 get shot. I'm like, and then he comes back to life and he's like, what's going on? What's going on? And then we win and we're like, we did it. We did it. We won. Ah! Sweet, That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then the last game I played with him last night, I almost won again, but I was trying to get away from someone, and I wasn't sure if he was the last one or not. So I'm like, I gotta get around this corner, and he hit me just enough. And then I'm like, oh, that was the last guy I should have turned me and with popped him. Shot. I am surprised that Call of Duty is the thing that finally gets all of the people that are on this podcast to play together. Yep. That is well, part of it's kind of free now too. Right. Yeah. Platform and it's cross also platform, completely free. crossplay. Well, I kind of yeah. hated that they made it free though. I'm not gonna lie. Why is Wars that? Are some, there's some because now all the fucking some scrubs people, are in there. There's some people that um you know are too cheap to buy the game. Not gonna mention anybody in this room. But, Who? Uh, when you went to play a private Who? match. Who? 
Uh, who, you Colin? Can't do, you can't do who? that. I, I, I don't bought know the who, game! I don't know who it is. I bought did, it, did you buy it? Finally? Yes, I bought it, Fuck you! <laughs> when did you buy it? Yesterday. Of course you did. Should, should I? <laughs> no, but like, Phil, my brother and I were on, and we were, we were going to invite you, but he goes, no, he doesn't have the full game. He's a scrub. That's yeah. what, that's what Phil said. Is Other that, Phil. Is that what the new thing is? Oh, he doesn't have the full game. Yeah, he doesn't have the full game. Get away yeah. from me, I do lesser. too. I do now. <laughs> and then I had to go through lesser. all the updates, so I got to play one match with Tony. We wrecked. And then it's freaking kicking me out. And then it took until like this afternoon to get through everything because it would not stop fucking updating. You know, yeah, I understand your pain and I have the game fully updated. I just have shitty internet. Not anymore. You're There's not even a new playing it today. Huh? There's a new update today. You ain't. It's, I it's, still have shitty internet. That doesn't I'm change saying, anything. I'm I got really take two good days internet. to download. I don't understand what was happening. <laughs> I have gigabits. Gigabits. Giga fucking bit. I have slower internet than dial up. <laughs> Sometimes Are you just connected every, to your brain. Every <laughs> once in a while, every once in a while, I see Justin's tweets of his internet speed, and I'm like, oh. Fuck. I just love when Frontier goes, "Hey, can we talk to you?" Fuck no, you can't do anything for me. <laughs> you can't even reach me with this Wi-Fi. <laughs> They're like, here. Email us, dude. I don't have the internet working. Right. Do you see this? Did they send a letter through the mail. <laughs> <laughs> hear dude. thee, hear thee. Yeah. <laughs> Do you just go outside and scream, and then once the echo comes back, that's when you get your internet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, some I, I'm almost Here's snapped my box in half. <laughs> Because they're like, oh, we're sorry. No, you're not. You don't, you don't do anything. But we right. updated it. No, you I, didn't. When Trust I, me. When I first moved here and we were out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, we did have Frontier and Fuck that sucks. Yeah, they fucking they're trash. They're yeah. terrible. I'm they like, went bankrupt, by the way. Hmm. Maybe that's why. Who, <laughs> <laughs> Who did Frontier? Oh, nice. went surprised in like Good. February. Finally, so do it. It was do me. It. I started the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> He's Those the one tweets. who took down their satellite. Enemy number one over here. <laughs> took down their satellite. <laughs> COVID-19. I jumped up I burn there. you. I was so angry about my internet, I jumped up there and ripped it in half. <laughs> now he has negative speeds. Yeah. <laughs> it's I mean, faster it's... than my current speed. <laughs> Are you a? Maybe you're Thor and you just... <laughs> <laughs> right? With my internet box, I spin it <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Austin. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you've been playing Battlefront 2. Yeah. Yeah, I've been playing it because of the I'm new season sorry. of Clone Wars coming out. Yeah. It's actually pretty good now. They got all those updates yeah. and they're finally getting the, the final update to make it a complete game. <laughs> so, oh, really? Yes, that, that made the news. That's... The last update for Battlefront 2 is coming out soon. I'm not giving EA props for making a good game. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that it's a good game now. They should have released... <laughs> This the first time. The first time, because <laughs> that was what two years ago. That was two it's, years it's ago. It's on sale yeah, on got, Xbox right now I got for seven ninety nine. Two PS4 Pro, and I was like, <laughs> I'm never gonna play this, and I know I'm not. So I immediately turned the game around and traded it in for forty bucks and got like God of War or something. Battlefront Two. I, I think Battle you get it now two. for like twenty bucks. That's crazy, man. Like, it's on twenty bucks 15. too much. So for the listeners, please explain what you mean by Battlefront Two after two years finally being a complete two game. years. From the Two beginning. Years. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, they get summarized. Yeah, updating the game by like getting new game modes and new skins and actually getting some uh, improvement of life, yeah, I would say. Better Not tools. I play 50 hours for Darth Vader. Oh my gosh. I just started playing him the other day and he's That fucking, is an achievement. You can be ooh, proud. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, you could like choke people while deflecting blaster bolts and it feels so nice. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, is so that hard. surprising? Would you call that a surprise mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you, but I like that. <laughs> Would you call that something out of this world? <laughs> wow, Darth Vader, could you do things at once? Beep, boop, beep. It's kind of like what he did in Rogue One, but yeah. Man. That's oh, the Darth Vader I stand. Surprise, motherfucker. Surpri <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. Well, I, I, I bought this oh, game man. when it first came out, and I oh, didn't. Oh, no. But I thought it di bought it digitally, so I couldn't mm. return you couldn't it. get rid of it. So right. I had it this whole time, and then a buddy of mine uh, started playing it again, and then... I started playing it too. Was there any like bullshit with season passes and stuff or is it, how is that balanced? Because if they give you a full game, but you have to pay like it's... 40 bucks for a season pass that then gives you a $60 well, I don't game. You know what the season pass nets you? Because all of the updates that they're I've gotten free. have been free. Yeah, I, that's what I was asking. Yeah, free. I don't know. Yeah, I did not sure. play the fucking game. Right. Yeah, yeah, not... yeah, they're all free. That's good. So there's no there's no paywalls or anything like that. Yeah, because you the to... fucking community would burn it down if they fucking charged you for everything. I think that's what they did at first. Yeah, and then that's what they just, did. Yeah, and now they're just like, oh, sorry, two years later. Here's so, everything. Is this finally 
like a game worth playing would you say Austin? oh yeah definitely i, okay. I played it pretty definitely. i played it like a few months ago and it was it was really good yeah they got co-op mode now you and four buddies can just take on ai and you can actually be heroes because in multiplayer there's like what like 30 40 people right. on each team and only like four heroes that people can play as so i mean in co-op everybody gets to play as a hero Nice. And, that, and that's what's nice. Yeah. You're not vying to be top player and then, you know, only one being Obi-Wan Kenobi the whole time. You right. Know? Um, the other day I did see a video that was pretty cool where there was this guy going around just owning his Han Solo mm-hmm. and he fought Darth Vader and General Grievous by himself and wrecked him. He's rolling around grenades, boom, 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 took them all down. I'm like, dang. That's happened to me and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> you just play every game? Yeah. Okay. He plays it once, one time, <laughs> yeah, for one minute. It sounds like me. It's like my whole Steam Switch. library. Just download every game and launch it. I played it. It's yep. cool. I played it. Opened Happened it. To me. Yeah, Here's I'm my full review. I work for IGN. <laughs> <laughs> the top ten reasons I didn't like Star Wars Battlefront Two. Number ten. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Number ten. Burger, Burger King foot, foot lettuce. lettuce. Welcome to the IGN review. Jesus. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's good, man. I'm glad that you've been having a good time with uh, Battlefront. And, and I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't for this, uh, the newest Star Wars movie that came out. Yeah, Rise that, of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, that and the new season of Clone Wars. I probably would not have even touched this if it wasn't for Right, those. but you've been in the Star Wars mythos, yeah. as it were. Yeah, so... She's I, like, ah, eh, I'll play some Battlefront. Yeah, because you could play as, you know, Kylo Ren, and it's kind of fun to play as him, and play as ray and stuff so i mean the it's... last update the news article that i read said that it's going to be getting the map well a, a version yeah scarif a version of the map from rogue one yes. where they battle along the beach and they have that as the like the opening title screen picture of and that's been the title picture for a long ass time <laughs> and, and there's not in the game it's not even in the game <laughs> <laughs> now what would be cool on that map is if it was like timed and when the time runs out <laughs> That would be that cool. That would yeah. actually be pretty cool. Yeah. That would be cool. But gonna, that's, that's not going to That's happen. not what's going to happen that's because that'd happen. be cool. That would be. <laughs> that'd be a surprise. <laughs> are they Are they going to add good Kylo spoiler alert? Oh. Way to just. Yeah. Are they going to add yeah. Ben? Are they going to add Ben? Yeah. yeah. Are they going to add Ben? You could have definitely went with that. <laughs> that. Hey, wait, hold on. Redo, redo. Okay. Are they going to add Ben to this game? I don't know. I didn't see anything about that. I did see the map update and then a couple of changes with some of the characters, but I didn't see any additional characters. Do you mean Ben Kenobi from episode four? Ben Kenobi. (laughs) Yes. Got it. (laughs) (laughs) You need to clarify, man. I don't know. That'd be funny if you could play as that old Ben. (laughs) I'm pretty sure he's a costume as Obi Wan, isn't he? Uh, I don't think so. He's got Obi Wan's got like robe. Outfit, Jedi robes, and his clone outfit. And I know that. Can you do his four shout that he does in episode four to scare off the sand people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All enemies just instantly turn around and run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have respawned at your spawn. <laughs> <laughs> the game automatically resets. <laughs> yeah, just re- Small side note. That's not a glitch. It's supposed to do that. It's Small do side that. note, but still Star Wars related with old Ben. Have you guys seen the thing where there was a guy who remade the Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan fight. Yeah. Yes. Where it made it like scene 43 it more, Yes. <laughs> SC 43. 48. I think that's what it was called. That's just what it's got. called. Yeah. Something like that. Gotcha. But he took their faces and like did green screen. Like he did everything and made it where it was more like not necessarily the prequels in terms of the flashy but it's he made it where it's it's more well, energized. Flashy. What they might have done right, right. if they had the technology, yeah, like they or had like actual actors. We well, don't have yeah. the technology. Well, originally yet. when they did the lightsaber duel, they wanted to base it off of like like old school Japanese fighting style. Like they and didn't not have... just that they couldn't do much because they had to spin the sticks to get the light, well, and they yeah. would break. Yeah, so yeah. you'd have to like barely move. I know that's why they're like they you can't like they're touching off tips. as I wiggle my tip at you. <laughs> <laughs> but get with that. We should probably watch that after the pod because it is awesome. It is yeah, cool. Yeah, we can check they that out. out it was cool. Yeah, I was like, dang, Disney buy this and put it in the movie. I think they actually canon. might have, like the official Star Wars like YouTube channel, I think might have uh, posted it or something. They That's did something cool. with it. I think they might have paid him for it or something. Uh, like, yeah, I can't remember exactly what it's happened. It's legit. But. I was very impressed. I'm like, dang, I want to see more of this. I don't think I need to see more changes to the original movies, yeah. though. 
But it, it just makes it, it seem more makes, believable because yeah. you, you watch one, two, three, you're like, okay, cool, cool, like, fight. Cool story, bro. And then you get to episode four, and then they're just touching tips. You're like, dude, like, <laughs> do some, like Obi Wan does a, three, a slow <laughs> ass 360 spin. Yeah. Like, come on, man. <laughs> it just kind of shows how no they both scope. run as fighters. Yeah. The battle on Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith, though, is fucking sweet. Mm -hmm. I still think my favorite fight it's is probably fight. an Empire. With yeah, Luke and Darth Vader for the first time. Yeah, and I'll, I'm even Return of the Jedi too. That last fight is very good. Just uh, yeah, he's just wailing there. on his freaking arm. Yeah, freaking Mars. Luke, release your anger. Do it. You will pay your price for the lack of vision. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, you want to tell us more about uh, Mountain Blade Two Bannerlord? Yeah, uh, this is a game that's been like supposed to been come out like pff, they've been working on it for like seven years. Jesus, I would wow. Say. And they're, I think some of their excuses was, like, they're redoing the game engine. Okay. Um, I got Marona. <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> that's probably okay. one of their excuses. <laughs> well, it's not a full release, either. It's an early access. <laughs> what? So, yeah. You got After seven years. Again. Yeah. I mean, last time, uh, I think the first Mountain Blade, they released it also not finished, and then it took them six months to actually finish the game. Yeah. And they're updating Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Daily. So that is a full second release? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, they're stuck at home, so they have time to work on it. I mean, you told, <laughs> I think back when the first one came out, you talked for a while about that first one. So what are some of the improvements they've made for the second one? Oh, man, this one's so much better. I mean, even like uh, commanding your troops is so much easier. It's more fluid riding your horse. Uh, the dialogue options that you could get, uh, you can govern your own castle and have uh your own little army you can start your own kingdom i mean it's there's so much more to this and they're adding more stuff there's a multiplayer too that's they're improving on uh like siege battles okay so like you know there's like 40 people against uh 40 people and one it's attacker one's defending um and it, you can switch to first person and third person uh let's see and this is the game where you were able to mod it to be lord of the rings last time right yeah yeah nice. so okay the first one anyways nice. yeah the so they they're really really good about having people letting people mod their game okay they, they i mean it makes the game better obviously yeah so, i mean they got like star that's wars content game they don't have to make and yeah they, they, exactly. <laughs> and that's what they did with uh mountain blade warband it was basically a viking uh mod that was made and they basically, I think they bought it or something. They were just like, Cash all right, this out. is a uh, Mountain Blade Warband now. Oh, this, for real? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So they, and they give full credit to those guys too. And they, yeah. and they worked with them to make the game even better than it was. And they released that. And it's, it's really good. You got, uh, what's it? Ragnar Lothbrook. You got hit that, that time area where they're, I they're attacking, mean. uh, England, King of Wexix and all that stuff, you know? Uh, you mean like Beowulf shit? Yeah. That's cool. I would say, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no monsters in it, but... Haven't you right. ever seen the show Vikings? No. What the fuck are you doing? one time. Let's, let's really? stop talking for a minute. What are you doing? I mean, I, I like the History Channel a lot, but I have not watched That is Vikings. like the best show to come from History Channel. I mean, I would argue maybe Curse of Oak Island, the pretty Don't good show. Don't give a show, shit. But... Vikings is a lot better. I mean, look at him. He looks like a Viking. Which show do you like think he's going to watch? This Justin is because of his You, you so think he's going to watch his ancestors or not? <laughs> or not. That's why I watch Braveheart, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> I haven't seen Braveheart. Big Mel Gibson fan. I need to watch. I remember when I'd tell kids, like, because, you know, a long time ago. Sorry, side note. Don't mean to interrupt you there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, You know, because I found out I'm somehow related to William uh, Wallace. Really? So, yeah. So when I tell everybody I'm related sense. to Braveheart, they're like, oh, Mel Gibson? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Mel Gibson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, Passion of the Christ. Yeah, yep, that guy, totally. That's, that's, Signs? Yeah. Come on. Like, mo the most well known movie with best. Mel Gibson. Yeah. Lethal Weapon. Kidding, that was, pretty that was good. a joke, but yeah. I watched Signs over the weekend. Oh dude, my god. For like the fifth time. <laughs> fucking Weenix, right? Yeah, fucking Weenix. It's a good movie. So, I'll enjoy it. I believe you. So Mountain It's a lot Blade. more scary to watch alone than it is with you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy! I'm gonna kick your ass! Ah! That's that, in the movie. Okay. That's in the movie. Gotcha. They're Sorry. trying to scare away the aliens, so they're just yelling profanity. They don't know it's an alien, though. The house. Are you saying he's Okay, we're just not getting the yeah, signs. Noted. Yeah. All right. Did continue, it open Austin. Up his eyes? Oh, okay. I'll just. They already got more mods for this game, too. Okay. Um, but, I mean, they're also updating the game, so any mods that are uh, 
conflicting with what they update with, then it's kind of screwing up the game for some people. Right, right. Um, so they're letting people mod their early access game? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, that and, maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Wait, but, hasn't Mountain Blade been around for like years oh, and yeah, years and like years? 2006, maybe that's seven? That's, that's years, and years and years and years to you guys. Access. I feel old now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. I mean, they released the toolkit. Look, we know that's when you were born, so... I wasn't okay. born in 06, so I'd definitely not be on this podcast if I was born in 06. Hey Sorry, 07. God. That was your Why are you bullying me? Why are you bullying me? Why are you bullying me? <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, so today, I had Jesus. Uh, I'm glad to be back on the pod. Profanity is not really my favorite thing, so you guys could stop. Mom says that's a bad word, so... Uh, Fuck no. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Childhood flashback. It's like a parrot. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, today at the pod, you said fuck no. <laughs> uh, the beginning of this game is really, really hard to to play because you start out with peasants as your army. Okay. Everybody else has like you know actual armor and swords, and you guys have clubs and fists. <laughs> Whenever I think of peasants, I think of like kids for some reason. It just <laughs> makes it ten times worse in my head. Get the top! Fight for me, children! <laughs> Defend it! Launch! Catapults! 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 Oh my god! Peasants shield wall and they all it's just kid you say, okay? It's a kid you say. Oh my god! They all just join arms to link just one kid. Oh, dude. Alright, we'll set this one on fire. I didn't like it that much. <laughs> Sounds like the gingerbread man from Shrek. <laughs> Not the gumdrop buttons! Not the gumdrop buttons! Oh, boy. Right. I'm sorry. Continue, Austin. Sorry. Yeah. So you can actually, at the beginning of this game, when you customize your character, you can be a child. Okay. And, oh, you, can no. fight. and you can fight as a child. So when people try to swing at you, because you do, like... <laughs> You only get you. Oh, get is this like Golden Eye Odd Job thing where like you're short so they can't <laughs> yes, hit you? Yes. <laughs> In this game, you get four different ways of swing. You go, you go, cut down, cut up, cut to the right, cut to the left. Okay. So if they cut to the right or left, they're gonna miss. Awesome. It's like playing as Yoda in Soul Calibur Four. <laughs> can't touch Just you. Bust their knee cap. Knee at, bust the kneecaps. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and I think at some point the game like says, "Wait a minute, you can't play as a baby," and then it. It makes you what like grow fuck? up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Does makes I, you grow up. What the hell? Does it just like do it randomly? It or? did it for me, anyways. Like, like I was a baby, and then I got in a fight, and then I uh, you went through I, puberty. I was a baby, and I got in a fight. I, I won, and I became a man. <laughs> <laughs> I once was a baby, but this blood has made me man. <laughs> Level up by the blood. baby the running around with a knife assassinating people. <laughs> right. Half of them, I know I saw some pictures of other people's uh, little babies and it looked like Chucky, dude. It's, <laughs> I just it's kind of scary. I just imagine like, that, you know, you, you meet the bandit that like killed your family. You're like, wah. <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> that? Wah. <laughs> But you're like a, a child leading an army of men. God, yes. <laughs> you are the chosen one. It's like um, Helm's Deep. It's like, what, shall I describe it for you? Or would you like me to find you a box? I don't get it. I didn't get well, that it's Gimli. He, he's trying sure. to see what's going on the in the battle, dwarf. but he's too short. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, you haven't yeah. seen Lord of the Rings. Uh, the I've not stayed awake for that particular oh, that part of the That is one of the, of the better parts. Ryan doesn't like... Lord of the Rings. No. Thumbs Deep is where it's at. No, The Hobbit yeah. is way better. Boom, boom, the Hiblet. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, I'm offended by you saying that. What did you say? You're not the only one. So <laughs> the Hobbit is way better. <laughs> okay, that's going to make us lose our viewers. Yeah. Uh, cut that's that fine. out. No, I will not cut that out. <laughs> as, I stand as the by fucking, that statement. As the fucking host, yeah. I'm not cutting shit out. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the only thing in this podcast. I like The Hobbit, not Lord I just want to be your angry drops drops yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not cutting it out. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> if I recall, my name's on the thing when I introduce myself. <laughs> that is true. Uh, true. Justin. Or what, do you have more to say about uh, that's it, Mountain Blade? That's Austin? it. That's it. Yeah, that took a while. Oh, oh, no more. Well, when he that said Justin, and you're like shaking your head, like no, no, <laughs> don't talk to him. <laughs> don't talk to him. <laughs> Turn his mic off. Hurry, hurry. Um, are you? Are so? This is not a fully released game, and they're gonna keep updating it. Do yeah. they have a release date yet for the full? Not yet. I mean, okay. like, like I said, for the first, the first one was like six months. Okay. Before they fully released it, and I think it's in beta now. 
It's in. So it just went into beta not too long ago. And but, did you have to buy it? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. In early access and, on Steam, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. With any of those games, you have to take like a, a risk. Yeah. But usually, I mean, the games that they've made, they've been up to par with, really. Right. And they've always finished them. So, and they got they, they only make Mountain Blade games. There's a couple other ones, but I don't really like the other ones. It's yeah. more. Uh, with guns and stuff, and I don't really like that. I like swords and shields and bows. I mean, I've had pretty good luck with most of the Steam Early Access games. Yeah. Like it's People keep working on them. And... and I'm not too worried. They're still updating it daily, so it's I'm cool with it. Okay. Gotcha. All nice. right. Well, I think we could probably <laughs> <Don't look at laughs> move on from that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Justin, what have you been up to, man? You been, haven't been on the pod for a while. What have uh, you been doing? Well... I've been experiencing life, man. Went out and found myself in they the mirror. Yeah, it wasn't what I expected. <laughs> is that at okay. home? <laughs> huh? Is that at home? Yeah. You went out? At home? At home? Yeah. Got out of your room? Out of my room to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, there's a homeless man in there. Oh, Ginger! Oh. You know? <laughs> I almost didn't recognize Wait, myself. you can see your reflection? Vampires and gingers are different. <laughs> one is a blood-sucking demon. The other one's just a vampire, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of meant what have you been playing, but oh, sure. Oh, yeah, games. Totally, games. <laughs> Myself. Just but... fighting the hobo in your mirror. <laughs> That's all you've been doing for I've the last month. I've broken a lot of mirrors. It keeps escaping me. It's like he knows what I'm throwing before I throw it. He's reading my moves. Are you challenging me? Exactly. <laughs> Show me your moves. And then I'm like, why are you mocking me? And he's like, why are you mocking me? And I don't understand it. Um, <laughs> oh. Well, other than my internet being absolute sure, ass. Yeah. Like literal ass. Yeah. Um, I got back into Just Civilization an Five. Time. Okay. Oh. Um. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. I have not. I played Civ Four for a while, but when, you it's kind of like far the back same. The day, yeah. Um. I my buddies were getting into it, and they're like, "Hey, you should play with us." And I was like, "I can't." <laughs> so I uh, I got all the DLC and stuff, and it's just kind of fun because I've always played the vanilla base game, but mm-hmm. like with it, you can have your own religion. And God forbid if I had fun. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to hear about it. So in my favorite religion, it's called sunburn. So when people are like, hey, Geneva wants sunburn. I'm like, no, you don't. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> my love and affection was another one that a lot of people wanted after a while. Um, you made two religions? No. In different games, I made different religions. Uh. I always try to name them something different just to be like the current one's Viking shit, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not my favorite one. But when it goes, you know, Chicago. Quebec wants Viking shit, I'm like, okay, but. <laughs> um, so... Load the trebuchet. <laughs> right? The baby The baby shay. The baby shay. <laughs> um, so my, I usually get fucked in that game, I've realized, playing a- just AI. Okay. So, you know, after a while of pretty much building your civilization up to not be a shithole, um, <laughs> you, you meet other however many sibs you want to meet, right? Oh, so you literally get fucked. Yeah, right. literally. Oh, like, okay. They all meet up in like the general area. They're so like, hey, Tinder. hey, poorer than... No, Tinder, I, Tinder, I don't get responses back on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> the AI's like... I didn't say it was your Tinder. I said oh, it was oh, Tinder. Oh, well, then, yeah, I don't know. Uh, um... <laughs> So I meet the fucking computer generated guys and I'm like, hi, you know, oh, like God. I met the Romans. OK. And it's also weird, like when you play as like, let's just say, you know, Julius Caesar and the other guy you meets George Washington. It's like, you're not supposed to be around right now. <laughs> um, but so my favorite thing is when, you know, I meet like the Mayans, for example, and they're like, hey, you're cool. You know, and I'm like, yeah, OK, cool. And then when your borders touch, the AI automatically gets angry. Like, how dare you settle near me, you fucking vermin. And I was like, I legit gave you iron like five turns ago. Why are you being a dick to me? And then, you touched me. Right, exactly. Prepare to die. So they're like, don't you dare spread closer to me. And I was like, okay. So I <laughs> spread. <put a> spread. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like when you get, like, when the more uh, um, it's civilians a, it's a, you get. I'm not touching you. I'm not <laughs> yeah, touching you. That's me. That's me. <laughs> fucking... So like, mommy Plays touched well me. Audio. So I get as possibly Thanks, close as I can, and I plant a city down. And he's like, <laughs> "How dare you disrespect me?" I was like, "Fuck you, dude!" Like, what are you gonna do about it? Nukes. You can. I know. <laughs> that's what Gandhi goes for. Yeah. So, oh, you never heard about that? <laughs> no. So there's a bug that started as a bug, but now you know they made it a good uh, thing. So when Gandhi has the ability to get nukes, he nukes everyone. <laughs> Yeah, the greatest glitch ever. It's he's obsessed with nukes, 
and they thought it was so funny and everybody's like what so they're like it's a feature yeah <laughs> it's a feature so now gandhi is just nukes because he'll be your friend till he gets nukes and then he's like hey remember me <laughs> you see that thing in the sky don't worry about it <laughs> Superman. It wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. me. So, so then, you know, they're like, so they're, I can see their troops or whatever moving around. And I go, you know what? I found their holy city, right? So I go, they want sunburn too. Because you can send prophets just to like spread it. Okay. And they're like, don't you ever send sunburn in my direction again. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay. So I send three more just being the dick I am. So we go to war. <laughs> Obviously. So I Get wipe the aloe. <laughs> aloe vera is his enemy. Spread it upon the soldiers. <laughs> Hey, get my back. There you go. You are protected. Finish him. Like, no, no, finish me is what he's saying. So, finish me. So I take the first city, and usually after you start winning, they're like, hey, 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 why? whoa, slow down. Like, let's be friends. And I'm like, no, like, excuse me? Like, after all the shit you've been talking to everyone else? Because they can denounce you. Which is pretty much them telling the world that you're shit. Okay. So everyone's like, oh, I don't know if I want to work with you. Mm. <laughs> I heard a bad thing about you, and I don't, I don't know. So you're a poopy head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I take a second city, and I see you know troops coming from some other one. So I go and take that one, and I'm like, okay, he's gone, and he's still on the map. He's like, hey, uh, you wanna. You want to stop fighting? And I was like, <laughs> no. So I'm looking all across the world in this sense, and I can't find him. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll let you live. We'll be fine. I don't, I don't care. I'm too lazy to go out and wipe him out <laughs> entirely. That's pretty much what it was. So, you know, as the eons go on, because, you know, thousands of years pass, he's like, hey, hey. Fuck you from across the ocean, right? <laughs> and it's I'm just like, like that one dove with the note, and that's all it is. Yeah. Fuck you from George Washington. What the, hmm. f <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm the this. Where thing. did this come from? Exactly. <laughs> so, it's well, just an ocean. Where'd you come from? <laughs> you're just looking up, you're like, that's a, a bird with a note. <laughs> Suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, men, we're killing all the birds. <laughs> the bird just told me to the, suck a dick. The bird has started this war, not me. <laughs> we have the best bird killers in the empire. We need to yes. build a wall. I've done that. The Great Wall. Thank you. Um, so I'm like, how are you talking shit to me? Where are you? And he's like, uh, actually, hey, uh, so remember that thing I said like five turns ago? I'm kidding. Can I have like money? I'm poor. And I'm like, okay, on one condition. I want to know where you're at. He's like, okay. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, cool. cool, Wait, cool. How do you ask that? Yeah. Are There's... you playing your friend? What is happening right I'm now? I'm not actually asked saying certain things. Like, you can ask for an embassy, which oh. instantly shows your capitals to one ah. another. Okay. Gotcha. Not like, not like, hey, friend, because I can't play with my friends, you know? I, I, well, you had said bad <laughs> yeah. internet, but- Okay, the way you I'm are explaining maybe personifying so, yeah, the so AI here's what a happens. Got it. I, you know, the AI is just like- I, you know, you you vile vermin are spreading. I can't believe they're letting you fuck each other. Not fuck, <laughs> but you get it. Give and, me money. Exactly. And so I just play it off in my head because, you know, it's just me playing by myself. <laughs> yes. Got hey, it. man. Hey, so I'm kind of poor right now. You mind uh, giving me like a grand? <laughs> Is yeah. that when you have the mirror on your desk so you can like look at yourself as you say I this? Should, hey, shouldn't man. I should, man. This is a homeless man. <laughs> Ask him for money. Hey, man, you got some spirit change. The entire empire room's kind of broke right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ching -ling -ling -ling. <laughs> so, you know, I, I I just I float a boat over there, just trying to see what you know the Mayans are all about. I'm like, hey, this is a nice little city. How's everything going? And he's like, hey, can I? Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't ask. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You know what happens when I meet people? <laughs> I got all pretty. You know, I came outside. Fuck you, Austin. That's amazing. Shout I don't for think this. anyone's ever described civilization better than you. <laughs> this is we what thought you were playing with real people. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, got fucking spoilers. Phil. <laughs> hey, that was me too. You're welcome. Yeah. Um. So, so I get over there, and you know, he hasn't like upgraded enough because he has one little city by himself okay oh, so he's cool. got musket men so i'm just so i just like to imagine scenarios here because what i have is called the giant death robot 
<laughs> and it's literally this walking tank with, I guess, like machine guns on the side, from what I can tell. All right. So just imagine, you know, it's Going seven. It's like the Patriots. <laughs> exactly. So it's 1700. You guys just discovered what wheels and stuff are all about. Everything's pretty cool, you know? <laughs> How to Turns. ride on a exactly? You know, you just see Freaking this like giant Duke like Nukem. thing floating in the sky because I can airdrop things oh, now. God. Oh my <laughs> so god! They're like, they're like, what? What is? <laughs> wow! <laughs> fucking what? iron giant comes what out of nowhere. Right? Hello, and, <laughs> and I'm hey, like, guess what? I don't have to reload. <laughs> exactly, and that's not the best. I dropped three of them. Oh, oh my geez. god! I you dropped three of them on a city that doesn't have you any guns. Look for buddy. I mean, Let's they have a Brook. I mean, listen, I might not be a bitch, but I am a petty man. <laughs> <laughs> I hold a grudge. <laughs> like, so the other thing is sometimes the civs will ask you to get in other wars with them, right? So, Like as their ally? Yeah. Okay. So they're like, hey, in this... Ex so for some reason, I came across this thing where a lot of the wider characters didn't like, like, Indonesia or Gandhi or, you know, Shaka Zulu. And it was just weird how the white guys were all banding together. Mm, yeah, and weird. As, and as, you know... <laughs> yeah, That's not typical white guy behavior. No. So this guy's like, hey, bro, I don't like Indonesia. You want to join? And I'm like, he's on the other side of the fucking world from me because I have the world map. Okay. So it's funny to see, like, for example, like, I was Hawaii and I was in Russia was where... My, so it's just kind of funny to see, oh, yeah, you know, Hawaii a... has the Great Wall of China. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, just something a little... As they do. <laughs> as they do. And so he's like, hey, man, you want to go to war with Indonesia, which is in, like, you know, Northern America? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah anytime, Let's buddy. Let's do it. So, you know, they're off to war. And <laughs> I knew the American schooling system was bad, but I didn't realize it was this bad. <laughs> right? The Great Wall is in Hawaii. You should, you should Indonesia's in North America. You what should... else are they lying about? <laughs> My favorite. Is My... Russia in Alaska? Yes. Wrong. My favorite thing is to see how fucking wrong they did Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the entire state of Michigan is like this little round mountain, and there's two little things of water, and that's just Michigan. I'm like, you couldn't give us a mitten at least, or like a little handprint. No, no just two no. little puddles and a little like mountain, Michigan. Mm. Home. And that's where Hawaii's Home. located. Well, they're in actually Russia, but where maybe... are the Russians? Australia, I think. Yes, actually, that's oh where the gosh. Russians were. Good guess. So, so you know, <laughs> the, this war goes. I forget about it because I'm not losing anything. It doesn't update me right, on the you're war. Not even on the that robots. Side of the planet. Yeah, I haven't. Ha I didn't have the robots at this part oh, yet. No. You know, I'm I'm trying to be nice. I don't start wars. People fuck me, and I fuck back. <laughs> <laughs> I <wouldn't... laughs> Is that the best <laughs> statement ever oh. made on this podcast? <laughs> I feel like I've said that before, but yeah, sure. <laughs> It's just like, you know, because usually when I play the game, I've never finished it in a way where it's like, oh, you didn't totally like annihilate everyone. Congratulations. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be peaceful. And then the Mayans are like, hey, fuck you. And I was like, okay. And they're like, hey, no, fuck you. And I was like, okay, no, fuck you. So then, you know, giant death robots. Yes. But so later on, I get a message from Indonesia. They're like, hey, man, we really can't afford this war right now. So we'd appreciate it if you stopped. And I'm like, ah. And I, I'm reading because they have like terms, you know, they'll give you whatever. And I see a city. I'm like, you're going to give me a city I never even fought for. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so then like a few turns later, Rome's like, hey, man, so that piece with the Indonesia is not working out. You go to war with them again? <laughs> yeah, sure. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, sure. Fuck war it. Crimes. Exactly. So then, you know, a few more turns <laughs> da, da, later. Da, da, da. A few more turns later, they're crimes. fucking like, I get a call from Indonesia again, you know, via via cell phone, because we're in the <laughs> modern, more modern era. They're like, hey, man, uh, we're just like appreciate if you'd stop the war. And if you do, uh, we'll give you another city. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. I shit you not when I did that. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was, just, I was at work. <laughs> You know, we were pretty slow, so everyone's like, what the fuck? And I was like, bro, you won't believe what Indonesia just did. <laughs> so basically, like checking you, Twitter feeds, what in you Indonesia? Like, you, like, peace-treated your way to owning the entirety <laughs> yes. of Indonesia. So, so you know, after I take the second city, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, sure, Indonesia, we're good. And then Rome's like, hey, man, I hate to call upon you and your troops again, but you want to go to war? And I'm like, I'm not feeling it. And they're like, Really? That, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, listen, man, I have spent nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, as time goes on and I finally acquire the giant death robots. 
course. Indonesia yes. decides to knock on my door and go, hey, you piece of shit. We want to go to war with you. And I'm like, listen, man, I'm trying to be respectful. You know, when I met with the Indonesian prime minister and everything. <laughs> and I was like, you don't want this smoke. And he's like, yes, I want all of it. And I'm like, okay. So usually when civs update, a lot of, depending on their rank, they'll have troops, obviously. Sometimes that match yours. Indonesia did not have that. <laughs> so when Indonesia rolls up with cl- um, pikemen, oh, wow. I had just then discovered, you know, the giant death robot. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> that Damn. was the most perfectly timed sound effect. Your timing is, is killer. Perfect Thank today. You. I'm you. proud of you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, <laughs> you know, they pop up and they attack my city and they burn, you know, whatever the little horse tile is. And I go, okay. I'm taking everything. <laughs> no found, more peace treaties. Yeah, I dropped everything. I was like, Rome, fuck off. I'm Daddy's taking over now. So, you know, I put my belt on, my big boy shoes, and I dropped five giant death robots. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, we're going to take you on. Wipe <laughs> them. Yeah, pretty much three cities gone in the blink of an eye. And he's like, hey, man. <laughs> so the last island, he's, he's got one city left. And I know I'm going long, so I'll speed it up. He's got this little island here. Nothing else. And he's like, hey, man, I'd really appreciate if you stop. <laughs> and I'm I like, like how you're wringing your hands. Like, <laughs> right? well, you're I just imagine personifying like, these characters so well. He stop comes up and he's like, I really appreciate if you just stop, you know, doing whatever the fuck that giant thing is. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't know what God you believe in. Sunburn, actually, if you'd like to learn about it. Here's a prophet. Let me preach to you my ways. So yeah. he's like, I'd appre-. I'm like, no. I'm like, give me the city you have left. I, I can't do that. All right, I'm taking it. <laughs> and uh, Indonesia's no longer a thing anymore. Oh, God. They belong to Hawaii. <laughs> so now you have all of America. Yes. <laughs> From Indonesia. Okay. Yes. Got it. Do you control the entirety of North America now, then? And Russia. And Russia, okay. So the Russians are still located in Australia, though, right? Yes. Who's in Africa? You know, oddly enough, the first two times I played that game, I've spawned there as the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this Even, doesn't seem like the right place. <laughs> I was like, because you know, I was searching the area and it was like Shaka Zulu was in Norway, and I and I was like, wait, something doesn't feel pretty right about this. <laughs> wait, wait, Shaka Zulu was in Norway, and I was in fucking were in Africa. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. So I'm just like something about my answer. Ancestry tells me this doesn't feel right. Hey, Shaka. It's hot. There's no water. Shaka, I'm going to need that land back right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Dang. That's what I do right now. Excellent. See and how bad geography this, can be. This I believe you would have placed it, but I never would have placed it. For for real. Oh, man, it's on sale on the I Switch. I played Civ 4 for like four Listen, minutes. Civ 5 like, is uh... pretty cheap right now. <laughs> it's on sale, I think, for like. Maybe it's twenty dollars or less on the Switch. I think right the now. game alone is about that, but with all the extra DLC and shit, which you do want, because the ability to spread your religion and name it whatever you want just mm, mm. <laughs> gives you that. Mm. Ginger Rights was another good one. Nobody <laughs> wanted that one. I <laughs> could for sure make it like Idiot Savants or. You could. Yeah. You could put the pod. The pod. Hey, man, Geneva wants the pod. All right. (laughs) Okay. Watch this. Give her the pod. (laughs) Back on the pod. Back on the pod. I don't... I think Geneva's a place, not a woman. No, it's... Yeah. I know a girl named Geneva. Oh. It's just funny. They take... They take certain cities or whatever, and they give them city states. (laughs) Okay. So it's like Hanoi, Quebec City, the Vatican City, and I was like, the Vatican? Y'all want Viking shit? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and then I took I took the city state. So your friends are playing Civ, and mm-hmm. you are also playing Civ, By but myself. in no way are you guys playing together. No, we tried, and I keep getting kicked out. <laughs> and as my you, one friend, as you do, yeah, as, as, as do. I do, in, in you know just in fashion with shitty internet. Shout out to you, Frontier. Sponsor the pod for one. Wow, I've never seen a ping that high. <laughs> it's over 9,000! Okay, there you go. It has happened. <laughs> Legitimately? Yeah. <laughs> I legit... We were playing... I was trying to play, and my buddy's like, Oh, it's, you know, 800... 5,000... <laughs> How are you in the game? I'm like... I, 
<laughs> that's just the internet cutting out. I'm yeah, you're also at AT&T, so you're having a stroke. Fuck. Well, like, my phone's not bad, but it's literally, like, for some reason, it's like, when I get on the internet, when everybody's home, it's just like, Ugh. And then when nobody's home, it's like, hey, so you know the 90s? Yeah, dial-up was faster than you, bro. Sorry. <laughs> I legit, when I tested Jesus. my internet speed, so if you don't know, in the 90s, the dial-up was 50 kilobits per second. Now, remember, in the 90s, you couldn't be on the fucking phone and play a game at the same time or use right. the computer. Right, yeah. correct. I had seven. <laughs> Kilobytes per, per second. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, that right is, now or in the nineties? That's taking me right back now. to right like now. pirating music days where yeah. I'm just like watching you know, it download. We, be like, only another three hours and I can listen to this track. Oh god, dude! I <laughs> wish I had three hours. Somebody's like, "Hey, you should get Red Dead." I was like, "I did." Fucking ten days ago. I'm waiting for it to die. <laughs> <laughs> I Fucking when I check my ago. speed test, I usually average three hundred megabytes per second. What is that, man? What's a megabyte? What's a oh. megabyte? <laughs> so, what are your friends doing in Civ? Like, how would you, you play can, together? So you can play like a multiplayer game. So you okay. can all do like separate things, and then so that I have played with them before when my internet decided one day to go, hey. Have some fun. You deserve <laughs> 15, 20 minutes of good internet. The sun aligned and the earth rotation right, was right. just a little closer to the satellite. Yeah, and that they're day. like, they're like, you know what? Give the ginger some time. I want him to fester over how good it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine that they're just like <laughs> baiting you. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, 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 he's got. Oh, well, that's got to be quicker, right? right? Come, come, and everyone's oh, like, oh, just get. Line. Everyone's like, just get faster internet. I'm like, bro, why would I spend the money? <laughs> it doesn't work now. Right, right. Um, so mainly you can do like you know you can play against each other, or you know if you got like a truce with each other, or you can do teams. Okay. So you could go. So pretty much with teams, it's like I would know, for example, where Troy's entire civilization was. And you can research things together to make everything go faster. Okay. So, like, in that scenario, a friend of mine in doing one where pretty much one guy fucked me, so I'm fucking him back. Okay. And so That's my friend just keeps funding me. That's how it works. <laughs> He's like, hey, guy, hey, dude, this is a problem. And I'm like, I've got the warriors. Just give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm literally, I started on one end of uh, Asia, and I'm just working my way over. <laughs> like Genghis Khan. Well, that's the issue, right? Because the more cities you take over, your people get unhappy, and you get a warmonger status. So everyone's like, oh, <laughs> you are the devil. And I'm like, well, uh, you decided to burn a city down. So right. that's my favorite part. You can take cities from them and then decide to either annex them so you control them, leave them as a puppet. So the city kind of does its own thing, but it still gives you money or whatever. Or you can burn it down. <laughs> Just raise it to the ground. Yes. That's now awesome. your people get severely unhappy because you burnt a city to the ground. But I'm like, that was their holy city and they talk shit about sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> Who's what do you burnt, want me to do? Who's burnt now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's going to take more than aloe to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> As the monks are riding away. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take Get more. Get the buckets of aloe. <laughs> it's not working. Rather and repeat. Rather <laughs> and repeat. <laughs> Rather repeat. <laughs> We're by the water. I don't know what water is. Rather and repeat. <laughs> you, smell, you, you, you smell bacon? Bacon, man. So, yeah. That's Civ five. <laughs> all right all right yeah that sounds pretty good you sold that really well Justin. Yeah. excellent work yes that I've is been like probably my... the best review for any game ever <laughs> <laughs> you made all of us want to play it yeah yeah i actually kind of want to go down there. Yeah. i know hey sid meyer or uh, my phone number is <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll play it all together without you yes <laughs> at least let me just watch <laughs> yeah just we'll like stream oh, it <laughs> hey you guys you guys want somebody else no we don't want you yeah, getting kicked you'll have out to come over here and play it with the rest yeah, of these guys yeah. frontier would follow me <laughs> just like hey Still Ryan engine to pull six you have a cloud of negative energy energy right there mm -hmm. yeah you get on the internet and no matter what you instead just, of chakra bubble. I've got slow internet speed yeah <laughs> you need to realign what that, a horrible man. superpower <laughs> I didn't pick it man it's my <laughs> <laughs> alright we're gonna take a break here listeners we'll be right back with some more shit hi I'm Chris and I'm also Chris and together we do a comedy podcast called Cooking with Grief. Each week we dive into four surprising facts about anything from science to history to the weird world we live in, making jokes about all of it as we go along. You can find us on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And you can also find us on Twitter at Cooking with Grief. No G on cooking. 
glitter, apparently, is so unique that it can be effectively used as forensic evidence. The Bank of England's chief economist has urged to start using people's Spotify playlists as a way of measuring the economy. In China, Avengers has been translated as Fulian, or Women's Federation. Not only did the Russians capture the uh, Crimean Peninsula, they also captured some Ukrainian military dolphins. In Pinocchio, in the film becomes a real boy. In the original, it ends with a cat and a fox hanging him from a tree. <laughs> just... Scientists have wiped a snail's memory. <laughs> Instead of going, can't we have an extensive <laughs> series of tunnels sort of <laughs> wide enough to fit a giant people killing snake? Where do you fall on the uh, on the scone scone debate? Scone, obviously. Oh, I love scone. So, what have you got to lose? Give us a try. Nothing to lose, but your sweet precious time. Yeah, that's true. All right, welcome back from break, everybody. We are going to jump into a little segment we like to call the news time. What? News time. News time. Oh, shit. News time. Wow. Okay. Savant Studios was filmed in front of a live studio audience. First bit of news comes to us from GameSpot. Or no, sorry, this is Gaming Bolt, but it is about GameSpot. <laughs> GameSpot is hosting a alternative... E3 event digital thing. They cool. Didn't we already talk about this? We did, but IGN is also hosting one. Oh. So GameSpot is hosting a alternative to IGN. Yeah. yeah. Alternative. yeah. <laughs> They're like, hey, IGN. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Is either gonna really be good? I mean... Yeah, so I don't understand why this needs to exist. IGN already said they were going to do their digital summer of gaming event or whatever the fuck that thing's called. And now GameSpot comes out and says, Hey, hey, us too! Hey. We're gonna do it too! Let me ask you, what the fuck are you guys gonna be doing to not watch both of them? Playing um, games? Oh, fair. Alright, checkmate. <laughs> I'll be watching both of them. No, Living obviously, same time. obviously, we're going to be watching both of them. They are both taking place in June, according to this article. Same There's time, a, same day, not different a channel. Day since <laughs> <laughs> Same channel. <laughs> There's not a date set for the GameSpot one as of yet, but I bet. That it's gonna happen around the time of the IGN event. Wouldn't it be great if just like all the gaming news outlets are like, we're doing it too, and it's just like, guys, this is yeah, what we fucking you wanted. Fucking morons. Can't, it's all you, just can't one we game all just get along, okay? So Turn the freaking frogs. <laughs> so they came out and <laughs> said what? that uh, a number of publishers and developers are taking part in the GameSpot event. Uh, uh, 2K, Project, CD Projekt Red, Deep Silver, Amazon Games, Bethesda, Devolver, uh, Google Stadia, Larian Studios, Mythical Games, Bandai Namco, uh, Perfect World Entertainment, Sega, and Square Enix are all confirmed for GameSpot. Go ahead, Troy. Hey, aren't these the same list of people that are going to the IGN thing? So I could have sworn yes. Bethesda wasn't. But though. Sans thought, Bethesda, correct. Yeah. Bethesda said they are not going to IGN's thing. And I think maybe 2K 2K or Square was also like, yeah, we're not fucking doing it. So this <laughs> will also feature pers personalities from their sister sites, Giant Bomb and Metacritic. Woohoo! So Giant Bomb is one of my favorite gaming websites, so I will be watching GameSpot most likely over IGN. Yeah. Uh, or, so this event what? This event will be called Play for All, and like we said, it'll take place in June. The event will see several weeks of live stream content. So I think IGN said that there was, was going to be like a couple of days, like similar, yeah. similar to an E3 setup where they were just going to be few days worth of content. So this says this will take place over a few weeks. So I, I don't know. I don't. I can't take that much time off work, Ryan. No. What? That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> hey, you won't no, be able to watch it anyway. I mean, I'm sure a handful of things <laughs> will happen work, maybe. that we uh, can yeah, talk true. about. Um, yeah. All I know is I hope this doesn't be, you know, this thing doesn't giantly bomb. Hmm. Uh, hmm. It sounded better in my head, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Your wasteful comment of the week Appreciate goes it. to. This clap is sarcasm. Same. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, That's a long soundbite. So yeah, I don't know that there's too much more to say about this other than it's weird that yeah. multiple gaming websites are going to host multiple alternative E3 events. Basically, it's to weird. me, this just means I'll be looking at Twitter to just see what's announced. And I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't have to sit through three hours of ads. This Fortnite event, this Bethesda thing and that. Oh, cool. That was announced. Nice. Um, sure. I mean, Fortnite. I understand you don't get behind the pageantry there, Philip, but there are those of us on the pod who do. Yes. I so. mean, weeks, weeks yeah, of live stream it. content. I'll take it. That's, that's going to be I a lot excited. of like, yep. It's like them virtually streaming the NFL excited. draft. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> no, I'm not defending you either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we can move on to the next bit of news then, unless, what do you got, Troy? You got something to say there? Oh, I am just excited for E3 anything, actually. Yeah. yeah. Just some, game some, announcements. Just some something. sort of good news in all of this bad shit. I'd like to I see mean, if Skyrim get, 2 comes out. We did get out. some good news because the Pentagon came out and said UFOs are real. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, basically what they said. Those were TIE fighters. <laughs> yeah. Mark <laughs> Hamill. Like Mark Ham- Hamill posted yeah, one. No, it's because they had their, their things focused I on it. Mark Hamill made tweeted, it look like, well, yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, that's just a TIE fighter. Yeah. Well, it kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon, though, from the side. Yeah, a little like bit. The natural, well, like... Did you watch the video? Because, like, the clouds just look like one of those old fucking timey movies. I was like, come on. The video's been out for years. <laughs> it has been. It's, I've seen I, it so I, many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've seen it before. The CIA just tweeted it out without any comment. But, I was like, oh, my God. No, the only reason the reason they said they did is because, like, we just want, like, they were basically like, well, it's already out there, and we just want to say that this is, in fact, real. Yeah. Like, some people were like, oh, it's just made up, fan. And he's like, no, this is real. Like, we I, have this, but we don't really know what to do with it. Right. So. Take that information for what you will. Like <laughs> that, that was, ide- unidentified flying object is indeed an unidentified uh, flying, flying object. object. Well, exactly. Like, yeah. What a time for them to release it. You know, it's just it's, an odd time. Yeah, I know. Do you like, think they had like a like a like an emergency? They were bored. Though? So Trump's like, you know, drink bleach and you'll feel better. And they're like, fuck, release fuck, fuck, UFO, fuck. UFO, UFO, go, 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 go. Signs, baby, it's happening. <laughs> Yeah, we got to put out some other news other than drink <laughs> move, bleach. Move to better. the water. Inject yourself with Lysol and you will feel better. All right. Next bit of news. This is about Call of Duty because we've been talking a lot about Call of Duty yes, lately. What else is there to talk about? Call yeah. of Duty update will let you report Warzone and Modern Warfare cheaters with the kill cam. Nice. Yeah. That freaking Send happened. to the gulag. That happened to me. For I was real. playing with... Colin, were you playing with us? Because I know it was Phil, Tony, and I think it was you, where there was that one map, and there was, um, there's a dude who got 41 kills. Holy fuck. And on the last kill cam, you uh, could see him snapping. Like, it was, and we're like, that guy's using a fucking bot. He was on our team, though. He was on our team. No, he was not. Yeah, he was. That was the enemy team. We lost. No, we won that one. We did not. I'm 100% sure we won that one. You are wrong. Phil, I actually had the game. I owned the game. Dude, that was the free weekend. (laughs) (laughs) I think I would know. I can look up the match report right here if you want. (laughs) You won't. Because I do have the match reports. I know we didn't win because I remember us all being pissed. No, that was after. Man, you know, I hate. I don't know. You know, I think my favorite thing is the people that don't try to hide that they're fucking, you know, hacking. I saw a clip of a guy that was like just standing on a roof with a handgun. He was just like. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) My thought is, what's the point? Well, that's what I don't get. Like. People are even getting banned for it now, so it's like, oh, you got your points, and now you're banned. Fuck you. What's the point? I got 41 kills. No, you didn't. Well, that's the thing. Like, do you think they post it? Like, yo, yo, I mean, they're in high school, so like, hey, man, (laughs) so you guys done watching that Fortnite clip? Look at all these kills I got on Warzone. My parents don't love me, so here's this. Love me instead. Well, that's fair. I mean, mine don't, but I don't do that. (laughs) (laughs) You couldn't. Your internet isn't working. (laughs) (laughs) I like this guy. (laughs) So, so no, that, that, yeah, that pissed Infin- me off. He's Infinity bots. Ward came out and said, anti-cheat update, kill cam and spectate reporting functionality will go live this week. This was yesterday. They posted this uh, Tuesday for those of you, or Monday for those of you who hear this Friday. Um, so they'll be adding another way for players to report suspected cheats. We have a zero tolerance policy Good. for cheaters. Get em. Zero. Zero tolerance. Infinity Ward says. You know what would be funnier is if like they added something so when they when the game senses a, like an aimbot, all the players stop, their screen turns red, and they all just turn towards them and shoot them at once. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be scary. It'd be great if it's like they exactly. can sense it and then that person gets like 
lit up in the game, and it's like, this <laughs> person's using a bot. He just goes in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, no, where's my bot? He, my he bot. reverses, goes back to the gulag. <laughs> <laughs> then all he can do is just be stoned. <laughs> By the players waiting to actually yeah. go in the gulag. <laughs> I can't get out of here. <laughs> Boo. That's, and then he it right. just has like a banner okay that's wearing that. like, um, in, was it Die Hard where he had the, the banner on or whatever it was and it says cheater? Yes. So they have like a little thing. Mm-hmm. And he throws stones at their face. That's and all every, right. And every time you hit them, they lose a level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to cheat and act like a bitch? We gonna treat you like a bitch. So, Infinity Ward, if you're listening... Hire me, I'm yeah, ready. This, this These idea, ideas use are yours. This. Use Listen, them. I got this. Sid Meier on the phone talking about Sid, so... <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. All right, next bit of news comes to us from GameSpot. And uh, this was actually multiple outlets reported this. Assassin's Creed Valhalla! I am yes. excited. Has been announced, set in the Viking Age. Let's go! Yes. Freaking boss Norway. Logic. Oh my god, yeah. eight-hour stream That's drawing so cool. the logo. That's so cool. Was, I like yeah, Boss Logic a lot. Yeah, yeah. As I say, it was Boss Logic. That, that dude is the, insane. Oh yeah. my god, yes. Eight hour live stream. Uh, as previously rumored, Valhalla takes place in the Viking Age, occurring between the 9th and 11th centuries. The Viking Age was roughly 100 to 400 years prior to the events of the original Assassin's Creed. Wow. That could mean that this game will continue the origin stories of the Hidden Ones and the Order of Ancients. Um, Went on. Become the Assassin's Brotherhood and Templar yep. Order. And I mean, so I didn't play any of Origins or Odyssey, but I guess I need to play. They're both telling of those. a story. I, there. I've heard that they're good. Odyssey I have played because I'm a big Spartan nut, so right. that was cool. Um, and now that they're doing Vikings, I'm like, okay, Ubisoft, you're talking my language. Yeah, you're in. Yeah, I, mean, I might actually buy this yeah. Assassin's Creed. I mean, yeah. it works well for the boats, especially. Oh God, yeah. And I mean, we have maybe one good fighting, like hack and slash style Viking game, which would be God of War, because there's been other ones, but they haven't really been well received. Set in Nordic, oh, okay. thing that's good in terms of something like this, mm -hmm. which I'm excited about, because I'm like, yeah, now, get more good Viking games. Now, what I'm thinking about here, now I just thought about this, is Vikings usually don't travel alone, so what if you get, like, a crew Ooh, to actually go hope. out and raid like with you? Like some Sea of Thieves shit? Yeah. I mean, they've had stuff like that in the previous games where you would call them in, uh -huh. but maybe that'll be more of an actual yeah. mechanic, like, like raiding maybe, mechanics. Maybe it's like you get to choose and then update, like, them too. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a I'm a sucker for Viking shit. Because all of them, you have like a clan per se, and like you oh, have you? stuff that follow you, and you can summon them to do things. But it's like kind of like a power up mm. type deal, like a thing. And you have people on your boats, so maybe it'll be more in depth, and they're always with you, which mm -hmm. would be cooler. Like you said, rating yeah. instead of just a special button to use. Do you think there will be Viking raids in this game? There has to be. Can we go? Yeah, I would. I mean, it would you make can't, sense. You yeah. can't be like, ooh, Viking. Oh, I'm just going to gonna jump through the trees and stab this Viking in the back. I'll but the early. Vikings seem like, like to me, like too badass to be assassins. assassins I yeah. don't know. I mean. I agree. It was. I mean, I kind of thought that the same way with pirates, but they did it with Edward Kenway. So, and I mean, they're doing with freaking Spartans. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I suppose that that was an interesting twist yeah. on it. Though. I mean, usually, it, I think. I mean, I haven't played all of it, but I think it's more the main character is more assassiny, and then the other ones are more regular fighty. Mm -hmm. And again, they could also make it more towards the fighting, which they did with Odyssey and Origins, where the fighting was done a little bit better. And more RPG style, so it was more in depth, and you get the weapons, and the enemies have more health and stuff. Well, I'll, I'll so. usually take more RPG mechanics in games. I like leveling up. I like yeah. improving my skills and that kind of stuff in games. Uh, so really, all that we have is artwork. That's the image he drew. Yeah, he drew. Yeah. yeah, he just drew on it all day. That's so a good ass image. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean it's okay. I'm just kidding. It's Do awesome. better in eight hours. <laughs> if, right if you, now. Literally, when I tuned in, he was working on that boat in the back over there. Okay, and yeah. he was messing with the colors of. Actually, this is this is chopped off. Okay, because that boat you could fully see, and he was literally changing each of the damn like wood parts on it. Wow, I was like I respect. <laughs> I mean, freaking eight yeah. hours. Oh That's god, cool. yeah. And I mean, have you seen some of the other stuff this guy's done? Yeah, Boss Logic yeah. is awesome. He's crazy. Shout out to you, dog. Yes. Like, yeah, come to the Shout pod. Out. We'll get him on the pod. Tag him. Absolutely. So Boss, we got two we different you. scenes in this in this image too. We've got like boat shit, which Assassin's Creed has had before, obviously. 
and then some sort of on land battle. Well, that's the thing because there's more than one there. Oh, there is a smokestack here. I I could see raiding going on. And I mean, look how many people are in the look how many people are in the boat. Um, so uh, yeah, there's probably at least fifteen people, people in that. Boat. Definitely seems like raiding parties. Is that a mm. desert area on the right? It yeah. I think that would be um. I think it's sand, and that's a and mountain. That's right. yeah, it might be. So I think okay. that's just, just a sun. It's like a beach. Oh, yeah, it's just because of the color. I should have just yeah. said beach. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a desert? No, it's a small desert. <laughs> Known as a Close beach. Close to water. Known as a beach. <laughs> no, it's just sand. I hate so, sand. Uh, do you think this will include some sort of, like, co-op? Is that... That would also be cool. Oh, I think that is what they were talking Unity about. Because Unity had co-op, and then they haven't gone back to it since Unity. Imagine if this game, you could play online with everybody, well, and you, you can do your own raiding party. That would I'm be guessing awesome. That's what that would be awesome. awesome. Except for legit. Justin. Except for me. Except for Justin. Yeah. But hey. <laughs> you can guard the boat. <laughs> good ideas I, for others. Listen, if the you don't mind me going, I'll cover a whole area in like a span of five minutes. You'll cover the beach. I know beach what that in five means. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'll get to the beach in five minutes. <laughs> and we spawned on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, still, like the, the raid's boat, over. Still loading. The raid's the, over. I'm like, okay, guys. Ah. <laughs> the boat's Aww. sailing and Justin's like skipping along the water behind it. Like a fucking pebble. <laughs> just, yeah, you're just like back in the times they had the freaking jet ski rope. Right. And what if just... like my guy's just frozen and he's like just jet skiing through the thing? <laughs> <laughs> Austin, you've had fun with Assassin's Creed in the past. What do you want to see from this game? I mean, I haven't beat Odyssey yet because it's such a For real? fucking big game. Well, if you game. read there, flesh out with two massive DLC expansions, Legacy of the First Plague, I haven't, of Assassin's. I haven't even beat Atlantis. those yet. I haven't I beat have the main story. I still I barely played it. I might just watch fun. a story recap. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just do that because there's a, <laughs> there's so much to fucking explore in this game. So many yeah. dungeons and monsters and stuff to go through because like there's they have a thing where. Uh, the community can make quests too. Oh hell! Yeah, I mean that's super cool. Oh, man. Oh, and, it, hell. and I can't, and I can't kind of tell which ones are which, like which ones are main story, because I've been yeah, trying to like they... exploring all the islands and going through and delving into dungeons. I fought a, like a minotaur and beat that, killed that. Um, and there's like an arena, and I did that. But I mean, it's just going through this one island took me at forever. Right, because you want to find everything. Yeah, I want to go through everything and before then... I beat the game, and then I get not interested in doing more you know yeah and then there's like shipwrecks you can find and that's how you get certain and there's fucking sharks in the water scaring the crap out of me yeah because they just wait (laughs) i just shot them with arrows and i'm like haha you you get on your just to the land where they're like i'm coming you're like yeah i don't know why but i'm terrified of water in video games like whatever monsters you never know what's gonna be under there i I don't know what game caused that fear but that is an actual like it's probably logical fear grand theft auto 3 when you just Died. Fell in the water. Didn't play that one. Died. <laughs> I'd say Far Cry Three because you get Ooh. attacked by shit in the water. Freaking alligator! Yep. When I, you're I swimming went right across a little river once and just. I'm like, son oh, of a bitch! Hell. Fuck! 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 Yep. And I killed him. I'm like, okay, there's my one. I'm gonna go <laughs> change my pants. <laughs> yeah. In game and out of game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think uh, maybe I know Banjo Kazooie a little bit because there's a shark that chases you in one level because I was a kid. Jaws. And then no. And then maybe uh, Resident Evil 4 might have done it a little bit, too. That big old monster in the one mission. Okay. This is a water monster. I haven't played it. Oh. I'm sorry. Next bit of news comes to us from Windows Central. Cyberpunk 2077 devs said, we don't fuck around when it comes to sex, drugs, and violence. So that means I it'll mean, be 100% accurate. Sure. So this is hot off the... Trails of some news here that the game will be rated mature. Oh, I didn't know that. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> so the Brazil Advisory Rating Board revealed that Cyberpunk's 20, 2077 was rated 18 plus. The rating was attributed to violence, sex, drugs, and foul language. Shit. I mean, yeah, in the first gameplay trailer, you're rescuing a naked lady. Keanu Reeves is like, wait the fuck up, samurai. We got a city to fucking burn, you fucking bitch. So it's not going to be him. Not he, at all. <laughs> one of the game's PG. designers tweeted a response to the Twitter post in which this was announced. He says, are you surprised? We don't fuck around. Um, so the game, there are references to mutilation, suicide, sexual exploitation, prostitution, and a lot more. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus You're Christ. pretty much buying a porn. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, There's yeah, they're like, you can have sex with who you want. First person POV, let's go. 
Uh, that would probably make the game adult only, which would spell do. I mean, if they show game. heavy on genitalia, but if not, you know, I don't know. Cyber funk, two thousand something. Cyber junk. <laughs> Cyber junk's better. <laughs> By the way, with the whole rating system thing, it just re- made me remember um, my disc for Doom Eternal from Australia showed up at mm, Ryan's yes house. Yes, it finally. did. And guess what? It's got ratings on the disc, but not one of them ESRB. Yep. <laughs> There's like eight different logos on that disc. They my, just, they my wanted guess, you to be sure. <laughs> my guess is that's just like the international version. <laughs> yeah. Like that's the yeah. international print. You are. Uh, it's how we do things here in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the game's gonna get you right in the down under. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was not surprising. I just liked his comments here that they don't fuck around yeah. with Hell mature yeah. ratings. I appreciate the themes that The Witcher gets into in their games. I didn't play a huge amount of 3, but 2 certainly has those kind of things. And I would expect nothing less from Cyberpunk. And I mean, yeah, with the videos that I've watched and stuff, there's an insane amount of yeah. all of that. Yeah. And again, the f- literally, the first gameplay thing they show, you break into a place, kill these guys, and you pick up a naked woman out of a tub, and her boobs are like right in your face as you carrying her out, because they were trying to harvest her organs. So I'm like, yep, this is M-rated for sure. They're yeah. Like, Get the motherfuckers yeah, blah, 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 blowing off heads and stuff. Not surprising, but so, uh, very, very excited hey. for Cyberpunk for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I cannot wait for September. You mean when it gets pushed back to, like, two <laughs> years from now? Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed back too much. That would be unfortunate. I mean, That would be unfortunate. Well, this one's for you, Philip. Next bit of news here comes to us from Polygon. Rogue One Rider launches a late-night talk show inside oh, Animal yeah. Crossing. I heard about that. Gary Whitta promises celebrity guest musical talent and stand-up comedy in short order. So, wow. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. The picture of this is so good. There's cameras set up. I mean, it looks like a late night talk show set done in Animal Crossing uh kind oh. of cartoony stuff. He kicks this off in his in the basement of his Nook built home. Uh he was the editor in chief of both the American and PC editions of PC Gamer. Witta is also a screenwriter. For the book of Eli, he co-wrote Good After movie. Earth with M. Night Shyamalan. Not so much. It was fine. And co-developed the story for Rogue One. Which I like. It's a really good story. Rogue One's good. And now he's a self-made late night TV host. <laughs> That's funny. So, I guess the possibilities are endless yeah. for what you can do in Animal Crossing, I mean, a lot of people have been doing kids. pretty crazy things in Animal Crossing. It's been a lot of fun. Like really. what? Only fans well, accounts? Like, uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm not I'm, kidding. People have done some pretty, pretty nasty stuff because you can import whatever picture you want into the game. So there's some mm-hmm. there was a person who did a thing where they took the characters like the female characters and put them in awkward positions in the basement. And then there's a clapping animation where it looks pretty bad from the other angle. And he just <laughs> went up to one of the posters and you just hear. <laughs> as he's gyrating nice so nice. there's there's feel good and there's feel good <laughs> oh man <laughs> well wow. like the no, name of his show animal talking yep. yeah yep the name of the show is animal talking for those of you that want to check it out uh it looks like this video is from youtube but it's on his twitch channel as well the pilot episode was debuted on monday morning okay. cool So, the first guest was Naomi Kyle. More guests, musical acts, and stand-up will come in the future. That's pretty, that's entertaining. Super cool. I just thought this was awesome. This is one of the other reasons why, in a way, I don't take this the wrong way, but Corona is pretty cool. (laughs) <laughs> oh no I'm only yeah i mean it. does this happen if coronavirus is well, i'm a saying thing? No. Probably okay not. Like, okay let me no. rephrase that so it doesn't come off that way what i'm saying is a lot of people are using their creativity to a pretty cool maximum yeah. that's what i'm saying not that corona itself is a cool dude no <laughs> when I don't like you do that either. with your hands i feel like you should talk like trump how about oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm not saying that corona is not a cool dude or anything i've met him he's very cool very cool Number coolest one. guy ever the best disease i've ever met <laughs> i shook hands you don't even know we wear a mask around him everything is a-okay check that lysol the meeting was great it was perfect it was wonderful 
The best meeting I've ever had. Best meeting I've ever You've had. You've never a... had a meeting like one with Corona. <laughs> never had a meeting quite like I had one with Corona. You know, when he walked in, I was like, my Corona, and he loved it. <laughs> and then he was like, boo, do, 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 do. It was oh, great. Dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> there was a, a feel-good story that did happen in Animal Crossing maybe last week. Okay. But someone on Twitter posted their turnip prices and was like, hey, does anybody want it? And Elijah Wood went to that person's island. Like, actually, the actual Elijah Wood, his official Twitter account, responded and went to that person's island, sold turnips, and they just had, like, a conversation. So that was just, like, kind of a cool thing to, to see right. on the internet. I mean, I, I would have maybe preferred it to be anyone else, but yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you for not liking Lord of the Rings. Hey. Elijah Wood is, like, one of the more legit people. If you've seen him interact, sure. he's super down to I earth. I mean, can we just say if you- Middle Earth. T- let's say you- As t- opposed to other celebrities that are completely fake. No, there are a lot of celebrities that are assholes and don't know how to interact with normal people. They seem like they're better than everybody. Like, like that goddamn Vin Diesel. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what do you have? What's, what happened, Ryan? <laughs> the pacifier? <laughs> no, like, you know for... that damn Vin D De- Double Diesel? <laughs> fucking Vin Dam Dimmer Dam Dimmer Diesel. God damn. Fucking Vin Truck. Speaking of Vin Diesel, next bit of news. AMC theaters are not going to show Universal movies for oh, the rest no. of the year wow. at least. Oh, no. So we don't cover a huge amount of movie news but i wanted to get justin and austin's thoughts here for sure so the amc (laughs) theaters say that they're not going to show universal movies because universal put trolls out on digital before it hit theaters because the theaters are closed so universal came out and said like the movie made 500 million dollars in a week and a half or some shit. Yeah. Like fucking way more, kids. way more than actually putting it into theaters. Mm-hmm. And, and fucking kids are the reason because all the kids are at home and they want to watch the stupid new trolls movie. So if I get you to shut up for five minutes, fuck it. Exactly. <laughs> glug, 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 smack, smack, smack. Yeah. Flip, flip, flip. Hey, they stop talking. That means I can drink more. So, <laughs> movie's Woo! over. I'm smacking you again. <laughs> so this is really stupid. Yeah, it's the fucking, they're just butt hurt. Yeah. yeah you didn't so, put the movie in my theater. You don't want to buy my $30 popcorn. All of our theaters that are local are AMC, right? Incorrect. The Cinemark <laughs> is the nice theater. I okay. love so that the one. one in town. Is the, sh- the AMC Listen, theater. the shithole that you feel like you'd get crack in your popcorn? <laughs> AMC. Yeah. <laughs> the one where you're like, they'd give you a handy out of respect for you as a human being? Cinemark. And then they'd actually give you like a proper crack plate, not just like in your popcorn. Yeah, like, exactly. Would you like some? They give you a spoon, they heat it up for you. A nice, a nice ladle. A nice, <laughs> Jesus. A nice vintage God. ladle. They're yeah, like, that's Cinemark. Would you like it microwave? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they give you a blanket, they tuck you in into the chair and go, enjoy your <laughs> so Universal includes things like Fast and the Furious, no, fuck no. It, um, <laughs> Jurassic World, fuck it, and uh, I would like to I don't trolls. Know. trolls. Oh yeah, Trolls too. Spider Man. Oh no, no, no Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> I don't know if they're like other than Jurassic World though. I don't think Le- I would. I mean, here's the thing. Movie theaters ain't opening up unless, you know, everyone gets all dumb or whatever in the next few months anyway. So, oh, no, I'll just keep releasing my stuff and just cut you out. Yeah, like, what? what <laughs> oh, no. What could possibly Universal lose in this deal? Like, they just put their movies out on digital and everybody buys well, them the and scary pays thing, them If you want to like, be talking about the actual scary thing, if they realize they can make more money doing it this way, they'll just stop sending it to the movie Well, theaters. that's exactly what they said. That's why AMC said they're not putting out their movies in theaters anymore is because Universal came out and said... In the future, our new movies will come day and day in theaters and digital releases simultaneously. Mm. So you can watch it at home. I still or think you can it's go usually the like twenty bucks to rent. Which, no, I mean, it'll be it'd be twenty bucks to buy and like nine bucks well, to rent. No, it depends because no. renting still pretty expensive for newer movies. Like on Amazon, yeah, like the ones stuff. that they're popping out. You're not buying it. You rent it for about twenty bucks, which mm. in the end is still Trolls not a terrible price. Buy. Yeah, you I can? saw. Yeah, trolls yeah. you could okay. buy for sure because I looked at that one. Mm-hmm. You, were you wanted to watch it. it? 
He's like, oh, straight, no. straight to digital shit. I looked shit. I looked shit. 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 kids. I, 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 I yeah. know they really like, like that like, stuff. Hey, hey kids, Let come out of the closet. Let's voodoo, watch this you? movie. <laughs> Let me know when you buy that on Voodoo. Would yeah, you just sure. text me? I sure will. <laughs> on Voodoo. <laughs> Your cats like the Trolls movie? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cats okay. like the Trolls They're like, movie. meow, meow. And he's like, fuck it. Fine, I'll get the Trolls movie. But see, we've ran into a lot of this coming into digital. Like, Bloodshot is digital. Sonic came out digital. And well, those in theaters. are to buy, right? Those yeah. aren't rentals. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. They came quicker to d- digital buy because they're like, well, everybody's stuck at home. We'll exactly. Sell this exactly. shit. That's the thing. You and might as well sell it. So the issue now is when you go, all right, well, since you do that, fuck you. I'm not playing your shit for the rest of the year. Well, when they do this, and they're still probably gonna get a lot of people to watch it because fuck it. Even if you're bored, you're like, fine. Yep. Right. You know, so in the I, end, they still might be getting, even though it's like, oh, we did 500 million at home sales, that still might be less than theater and home that's sales. That's what I'm that's saying. True. So that's true. So when good you point. when you tell them to fuck off, they don't need you as they have just proved in this situation. <laughs> They've cut you out. They've cut another it, expenditure well, that's, yeah. out of their paycheck. So when you that's go why fuck it's you, weird. like why why would AMC like say that they're not going to put their movies out and because they say they're not they're going to do digital so of them like, being you know. butthurt is and I understand that's perfect. I like, can understand where they're like, dude, what the fuck? Well, bro, Corona. That's what the fuck. <laughs> it's not like Universal's like, oh, everything's okay. Digital. <laughs> but gonna... I mean, they kind of did say that when they came out and said, now they're going to well, now. digitally put out their movies. But they said, so the timeline of events was Universal put out Trolls digitally mm-hmm. and then came out and said, holy shit, we made a fuck ton of money. We are going to do this on a consistent basis from here on out, regardless of movie theater chains being open or closed. Well, And then AMC was like, well, fuck you. Well, that's the thing, though. <laughs> Because it is it is easier to watch Trolls 2, I guess, in the situation at home, but sometimes the experience is better to watch it in a movie theater. It is. Right. So when you sure. go when you go, fuck you, I'm not I'm not playing your shit, then you're automatically just cutting yourself out more. Because <laughs> what if Universal goes, All right, cool. So when when they come back and like, hey, so we so just like in Sid, you know, hey man, <laughs> we really missed your Universal movies this year. You mind if we put No, fuck you, we're going to Right. Watch this. <laughs> it's on Hulu now. Whoa. I'm just yeah, saying, you for can't. Sure. I mean, I can get where you're mad, but like, read the room. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you're not winning this argument. No one's like, oh god, I can't go see Bloodshot at my AMC theater. Ah. No. I wasn't going to anyway. Go ahead, Austin. Awesome. What were you gonna say? Uh, I mean, yeah, lots of people are stuck at home. So, I mean, once this quarantine is over, are there gonna be a lot of people buying? You know, like Trolls 2, when it, right, you know, right. if it released when it was, you know, I would no say quarantine. No, yeah. like... So, I mean, I, I guess it would kind of hurt later on when everything's back to normal and not a lot of people are stuck at home just watching movies and with their kids and whatnot. So. Right. Well, that's the other thing. That's a good point if you think about it. Because once this is all over, people are going to be like, you know what? I want to go see a movie. Yeah. You know, or I want to, oh, well, AMC doesn't have... Bloodshot 2 right, or, or whatever. Yeah, X Fast Univer- and Furious 9. Yeah. Better make God, sure we go to Cinemark. Well, that's what God. I'm saying. You pretty much have just... Clo- I mean, I don't think people go, oh, Universe was not at AMC? Ew. I mean, we're in a unique position in that the theater that is AMC sucks ass. But in, <laughs> yeah. but in Indianapolis, well, now where we're... Rachel's mom lives, like the closest theater is AMC, and it's super nice. They mm-hmm. actually have the nice, comfy seats. Well, those people care. That's the difference. Right, right. As opposed to the people up here that own this fucking theater. That do not <laughs> They're like, we give you crack. No, just no, eat no, the no, popcorn. No, gonna this be is bummer, AMC. Like... Classic. I remember when... Ra- <laughs> yeah, when... Classic. Oh, oh, God. Classic they, shitty. They I'm... put that on it's there for a reason. faded. <laughs> AMC. Classic. What did, like, what remember when you went there. <laughs> Remember when you Remember? went to go see well, movies in the time. 90s? Yeah. It's a lot like this. <laughs> we when you didn't know it. Sam, didn't we? No. Who? It was Deadpool. Was that the movie we saw? Deadpool. T- yeah. Me and him went to go see Deadpool at that theater, and it yeah. was the worst was fucking the worst. thing in my life. That's where I went to go watch uh, A Quiet Place, and they had fucking Rampage yeah. Giant Gorilla <laughs> D- Dwayne Rock <laughs> Johnson playing next door. We but, gotta get him! Go, go, go! <laughs> Guys, you're gonna make the monster attack us! <laughs> Oh my god. I wish that would be the perfect moment when he yelled that and the monster just turns to that sound. <laughs> oh man, King Kong's gonna get us killed. Yeah, so I'm not sure this hurts, real cute. hurts a whole lot of other people except for AMC. It's 
being yeah. idiots. I mean, it's probably they just want to be like, hey, yeah. guys, we're still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I am. Watch when everything opens back up. They're gonna be like, hey, Universal, we were kidding. Yeah. We <laughs> love you guys. Don't nuke us. <laughs> Don't stop nuke. the attack. <laughs> With that giant death robot looking thing. <laughs> Fast and Furious 20. <laughs> Digital sales. <laughs> Streaming services. <laughs> All right. This next bit of news is kind of funny. That's why I wanted to bring this up here. Uh, which of you have played Bleeding Edge? I tried the beta. I haven't even tried it. I've like heard it. about it. I haven't, I haven't even heard it. about this game. Mm-mm. So it's a Microsoft exclusive Ninja Theory developed this game. It's a... Yeah, that would be why. Melee. Like a melee base. I heard it was like their hero. take almost like on Overwatch. Right? Yeah. Yeah. An Overwatch. Like a hero melee battler, basically. Uh, and each character has a lot of personality and its own set of skills and uh, power-ups and stuff like that. And I did not love it in the beta when I played it. And I didn't think it played very well. It seemed kind of boring. And so when it released, I just kind of shrugged my shoulders and was like, yeah, I maybe got my fill of that. Uh, so... I guess a lot of people kind of felt like I did because it got more or less universally poor reviews. So Microsoft cut together a trailer for the game and due to the lack of critical success, the game's positive quotes came from an unnamed Discord channel or from Twitter. So (laughs) that's good. (laughs) I really like this game. Right. right. And just imagine, like, so you know how, like, in game trailers, they're like, New York Times said this is the best thing. <laughs> I just imagine Todd said this game fucking rocks, dude. <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty much what we have. So the trailer doesn't include any YouTubers or respected critics, according to this article. Oh, YouTubers. Instead, it uses Discord comments and Twitter posts. I mean, people do listen to what YouTubers say about games, but... Not enough of them said enough good things about Bleeding Edge to even make the cut, which is why this is even interesting. So the Twitter users that they have quoted have between 87 and 496 followers at the time of this writing. (laughs) So even our fucking Twitter has almost 2000 followers. So it's not a big deal. They could have quoted us, but they didn't. <laughs> because you've been like, this game is shit. <laughs> did you even say anything not, about it? No, so, we did not. The trailer. So Idiot it, Savant it, says. It, it, <laughs> oh, God. The trailer sports such remarkable quotes as one of the best games I've played all year by a Discord user. And one Going of by the, the name unpaid. 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 One of the tweets by Twitter user JPSH Racer Gaming says, "Amazingly and awesome fun." Can I just say it's just are, people that work for the company? They are plants. <laughs> one is an intern, paid actor. The yeah. other one probably are, works on racing games. Paid actors. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, say something nice, but okay. Rage Amazingly <laughs> and awesome fun. Got it. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> fucking A. Jesus Christ. This is sad. We should have been like Overwatch is shit compared to this game. <laughs> <laughs> so have you played Overwatch? Yeah. The, no. The review, no, that, no, uh, it, no. the review that they had on their website, this is from MSPowerUser.com, uh, called it Dull Game Pass Fodder. I actually read that review and I was like, yeah, this is pretty spot on this is what i think about this i remember game as well. people getting pissed about that review on twitter what? and then yeah there were a lot of people saying what the fuck is this guy's problem they haven't even played the game it's a lie and then it came out and i guess yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing right. said, they weren't really lying they yeah, were actually right. telling the truth and they just started damn annoying. i should have listened and now oh i had game pass cool all right that didn't pay for it yeah i mean <laughs> I, uh, yeah i didn't have to buy the game to play it it's it's fine like if they make some changes to it, it could be good. Like, I like Overwatch-style games. Paladins is an Overwatch-style free-to-play game. I like Paladins a lot. Like, this could be cool. It's just not, not right now. At all. But they're uh, adding a dolphin hero to oh, the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, I saw that. The last bit of news here, they're adding a dolphin to the game. Dolphins so. are cool. <laughs> dolphins, dolphins are cool. <laughs> he's like, if I saw the picture correctly, he's got... Like, robot arms and legs, and he's in, like, a fucking fish tank. Because <laughs> I saw that this morning. I was like, like I kind of want to play that. Like a dolphin mech? Yeah. Is it, okay. is it like, the, the right. fish from Megamind? Maybe. You'd have to look it up. But that's the, that's the like, file thing I saw of it. Okay, we're going to touch on this. Um, 
Yes. Fallout 76 continues to be a fucking trash fire. So the way <laughs> There's Slanders, a big surprise. The Wastelanders update came out and by all accounts is not terrible. NPCs are most, here, guys. Most people are they are finally NPCs in Fallout 76 instead of just robots. So a year after the game fucking came out, here we are. Hey, listen, if I if we can wait 2 years for Battlefront 2, <laughs> we can wait 5 for Fallout 76. Okay, you can fine. wait 7. I mean, I do <laughs> like true. Fallout 76. I do ah. like Fallout a lot. So there is a bug in the new Wastelanders updates that lets NPCs loot players' corpses. So so all of the like equipment that you've grinded for hours and hours of playing this fucking game and you, if you die in the game you can respawn and then find the NPCs carrying your weapons That's not or your armor That's fucking called get good <laughs> Listen, I'm just an NPC just trying to live out here, and you know people just come by and shoot them, so they gotta stay strapped, too. I used to be an adventurer like you, and until I, picked, I took an arrow in the knee, and I picked up your you have fucking- my nuke on your back? No. No. <laughs> this is my nuke. I found it on your corpse. How are you alive? And he just starts running away. Help! Guards. 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 I just imagine they're like, give me my nuke back, and he just, it's mine now. <laughs> so, Bethesda, Bethesda is investigating the bug. It says here, I'm sure give them another six or seven months and they'll fix this as soon as the next oh, big patch no. is out. Leave it in. <laughs> Coming from a guy that's never played Fallout before, I must say, that sounds fucking funny. This, it turns, this just turned into the game Rust. I don't know if you guys yeah, are familiar exactly. with that. Oh, it's, like, yeah. it's like, hey, it's Fallout's version of Dark Souls stuff where like, they grab your souls sure. up for and sure. then it's in the enemy. I, just some dude's like, hmm, let's see, Wasteland. You know what? Fuck those players. RuneScape on shit? hard mode. This is like the Nemesis system from... <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, fuck, what's the game? Is Lord Shadow of the Rings? Lord Lord of War? Yeah, Lord Shadow of War. War. Yeah. yeah, this is the Nemesis system where the NPCs can be your nemesis by looting your corpse. Yeah. Just, right I, I, I don't know why, but this reminds me of way back... They took it out, but in the GameCube version of Animal Crossing, the villagers could randomly come up to you and say, that's a cool thing you have in your pocket, and just take it from you <laughs> and there was nothing you could do about it listen right and on. then they post it up in their house i had that happen to me once i got something i wanted and i'm like you motherfucker what i would I love that. for hey, that no. in this game so uh animal crossing again i play i share the island with my son right okay because that's what you have to do on a switch yep and uh my son's house like the front of his house is like a random collection of all the shit that he stole from either the front of my house <laughs> or the front of the other, the like the villagers. <laughs> it's just random shit all over the front of his front yard. Your kid's a klepto. He is. He's like, hey dad, look what I found. <laughs> yeah. Says, what no, you found? He doesn't say he found it. Whooping. He says, I stole it. <laughs> He's telling the truth. But, that's good. Yeah, that's true. That's He's good. a bad thief. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the, the way I remembered that that was actually a thing that happened in the game because it did happen to me once and i was pissed but there was like a thing where you could get points and one of them used their points to buy they had a special item that was an r wing from Star Fox. they're going home to put it up someone comes up and says hey that's a pretty cool r wing takes it and then puts it in their house and they just get to go and look and be like I fucking wanted that. I fucking bought it. And you Ooh. took it from me. This is why they should put killing an Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't sure. just steal stuff from me anymore. But I do wish because the people won't fucking leave that I want them to. They should just have Doom and Animal Crossing do a. Yeah. Yeah, yes, game. I want to Doom Animal have Crossing. Have you seen like, all video that? Shit. Oh sure. yeah, it's so good. So good. There's a video I sent him that's amazing. Yep. Yeah. And it's if awesome. you guys haven't seen it, we definitely need to watch it. It's like two minutes, and it's a. Ama- it's just a song that's Isabel and the Doom guy. It's amazing. Hmm. Very interesting. I saw one where they were like, you know, dancing with each other or whatever, and then, you know, the monsters show up, and he's just, he puts his hand out, and she jumps over him with something, just starts beating the shit. And he's like, <laughs> and then just gets into it. The best thing today was my wife was like, how did that even start? I'm like, they came out on the same day. That's literally the reason. Right. And then it just became a meme and then blew up, and it's the best I thing went, ever. I really hope they jump on that train and do something like that. No, people have modded Isabel to be in, like, the Doom games as a companion. Hmm. <laughs> so just run around and, like, give you stuff and kill people, which is cool. Alright, this is gonna be our last bit of news, listeners. There is a discovery of a snake 
This comes just from CNET. There's a discovery of a snake that they have named after a Harry Potter character. This is so stupid. <laughs> so, <Okay>. uh, <laughs> so here's what you do. You discover a new snake species and you get to name it. Naturally, you turn to the world of Harry Potter. I would not. And pick Salazar Slytherin, no. the founder of the Slytherin house at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It makes total sense. So the new name for this pit viper, which is already a pretty cool name, is... Trimeresurus Salazar. Yep. So they didn't want to go with Nagini? Trimeresurus. The snake from Harry Potter? Trimeresurus Salazar. I guess not Nagini. That would have been better. That's what people were saying. They're like, oh. so It's like the fucking golem spider. What? What's a golem spider? Did you... Do we not cover that? I thought we did, where there was a spider they found, and we're like, we're going to name it after a Lord of the Rings character, so it's like something Gollumus or whatever, and it's like, huh, you mean the spider Shelob wasn't a good idea? <laughs> nope. The spider? <laughs> well, they're very <laughs> famous from fucking Lord of the Rings? Maybe they just could Shelob? Maybe they had a brain fart. And is they were Shelob like, they an aneurysm? <laughs> they were like, come on. Shelob is in the book and the movies. Huge character. Mm, I mean, is it a huge spider? Is that why it's a huge character? Yeah. 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 It's a massive yes. spider. <laughs> and it's a lady. Yeah. Heck, I think that's, well, that's when we why. talked about it. Lady. Maybe. Because I remember we talked up. about... Just the spider. We just uh, gonna yeah. ignore this? He just called it a hot lady? Wait yeah. a minute. Wait. I'm confused. Yeah, no, spider. it's actually a hot lady in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like, not even kidding. I got questions. Shadow just War. Ignore this? Magic <laughs> day. <laughs> hot lady. I got questions. <laughs> Man. Man, the way she got that eight legs, you rocking that girl. <laughs> that, that big old sack on the back. Big old sack on the back. Mm, she's thick. Come over here and spin me a web, baby. What's up? Mm, what's up? Now it's I'm time saying. to Google search it. How do spiders reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to You don't want to see that. your kids. Yeah. Bite me, baby. They just jizz on a sack and then that's it. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Good Thank way to you. end the pod. Thank you for that. Goals. That, that's how it is. Yeah, I wouldn't have named it Salazar either. I thought this was going to be way better when I pulled this news story up, but it turns out it's disappointing. I would have called it like a big fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's from Harry Potter. I don't care. <laughs> on, what's the what's the kid's name from Slytherin? Go. Draco. Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't name it something Malfoy. That would have pissed me off. Yeah. Well, because he's a little bitch. He's is that why? He's make Slytherin, be like, yeah. ah... I mean, uh, Sal he'd be like, "What's up? My name is Malfoy Potter." <laughs> Salazar Potter? makes some sense. If it's me, Potter. Had snake themes somewhere. I'm pretty sure he probably spoke well, parcel right, tongue. It, I think, but I think still Nagini. Representative of the Slytherin house is a snake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Not a so Harry Potter fan. It could have been worse. They could have again. They could have gone with Draco or just anyone from Slytherin. Just, but they did at least go just with call the him Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Potter. Harry the Snake. I don't know. Is there anybody, <laughs> the like, in your real life that you've met who's, like, a Slytherin fan? Like, who who no, do you I think, be as I, a person I, to, like, buy I, a Slytherin? I might have went to school with somebody, but yeah. Saddam. Saddam. I, on Tinder, they have uh, people that oh put down, like, their Hogwarts. God. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's, either, it's either fucking Hogwarts or it's fucking the Michael Scott <laughs> quote. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> That's it. I love I'm that, not though. like your other girls. I'm quirky. <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is you have daddy issues. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. That's Bend what over. I was waiting for. I saw a guy the other day that had on your a Tinder? Hufflepuff. Oh, okay. No, not on Tinder. Okay. <laughs> that had a Hufflepuff shirt on. And I was like, Nerd. who the fuck are you? Hufflepuff? Listen. Why the fuck would you be Hufflepuff? Because it's not mainstream. It's oh, edgy. Because Hufflepuff edgy, yeah. are quirky and awesome. I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff, you son of a bitch. I'm a Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, so That's is my where wife. the hat sorted, this you is, motherfucker? This yeah. is the second time. I'm a Hogwarts. You want to know what my Got Patronus it? is? A Hogwarts. These nuts. <laughs> my, no, my Patronus is a motherfucking <laughs> elephant. I don't know where <laughs> you're going. No, I'm, actually, I'm actually a Gryffindor. Philip, it's not real. Can we time out? Wait a Wait. I quit. Wait. First, you gotta go to your D drive. <laughs> go to the C drive. Wait. And that's how you figure out what house you're in. Order. Hello. I think you're gonna go, buddy. Yes. All right. Thank you. How the you. fuck do you pick an elephant for a fake thing? Like, you didn't pick it. It chooses it for you. No. So an elephant walked up and was like, "I bless thee, Patronus." No. Like, <laughs> you're like, you know what a Patronus is? They shoot. Yeah. The, and it's an animal. Okay. You do a quiz oh. on the actual oh. website. Oh. Okay. And then okay. we're like, okay, what is this? And then this giant motherfucking elephant just pops out and we're like jeez that makes sense yeah. you're a fucking patronus like, is an I'm elephant fucking elephant yes i like this come here dementors 
<laughs> fuck with me, bitch. I got an All elephant. Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got to end this thing. This is... Hey, don't you end this shit. We're on fire right Gone now. Gone some places. <laughs> I got one more thing to say. All right. He's uh, nuts. Yeah. yeah fuck it. Last of Us 2. Okay. Wait. We didn't even talk about that, No, Phillip. we didn't. God damn it. Okay, last bit of news. Go, Philip. Fuck Last of Us 2. I was excited. These leaks are shit. The story sounds awful. No, you gotta start at the beginning, man. It's for the listeners. Please tell okay. the entire story. Stay off the internet. Yeah. Just, the so, entire story? <laughs> basically, a few weeks ago on the pod, I was super excited that I got the collector's edition for Ellie, the one that was sold out. The Ellie edition, I like did everything I could. I was most pumped. This was the game I was most excited for ever in my life. The first one was incredible. It brought back my faith in gaming because, like, story was good and everything I was playing was shit in 2009 or 10, whenever it came out. I got it, cried, loved it, played one of my favorite games of all time. Come to the sequel, super excited for it, and I'm like, oh, this story's going to be great. The, com- the the trailers look awesome. This is going to be good. They show some of the characters coming back, super excited. Whole plot leaks over the weekend. And I tried to avoid it. How did this then, happen? How did the whole plot leak? There, uh, it was delayed. We talked about it that a little bit. It was delayed. Now, there's been lots of talk over the months that Naughty Dog has been going down the shit can and treating its employees horribly, which, you know, I mean, apparently most of their animators left, a lot of the writing team left, which doesn't surprise their best writer left, so I'm not shocked that the writing's awful. You're talking about Amy Henning? Amy Henning. Yeah. yeah. You could which say is unfortunate. She dog. was really good. Um, but yeah, they're treating their people like terrible. Their crunch is the worst of any company, apparently. So it's, it's bad. Crunch is like over time. Like it time just, yeah, time yeah, crunch, yeah. uh, very known in the gaming industry. And apparently it got so bad that they were bringing like regular game animators wouldn't want to go there. So they had to bring in like movie animators to do stuff. Wow. Yeah. So then, uh, big plot leaks happen. Allegedly, we don't know who did it, but it was allegedly a disgruntled employee who had issues with bad pay, bad overtime, the crunch, the horrible working conditions. I mean, people are hospitalized from this. Jesus so, Christ. Yeah. yeah. What? Um, yeah. Apparently, Neil Druckmann is kind of the devil in this terms of running his company, which he basically is. And he is, is the what? creative director of okay. Last of Us gotcha. 2. Um, he kind of had a thing where it's like he's George Lucas himself, <laughs> whereas the okay. it's, it's you get too big for your own head and no one can say no. Like with some of the issues of the prequels, George mm-hmm. Lucas didn't have his wife who had left him to tell him, hey, these ideas because eh, she pre-screened four, five and six. So that's why those were good, because she's like, no, George, this is this dumb. Is stupid. Take yeah, that out. Yeah. <laughs> so she was his like editor, basically, when it came to stuff. She saved freaking four. Yeah. You come to the prequels. Nobody's going to tell George Lucas no, because he's a freaking billionaire. Right. It's like George R. Binks. And they're like, yeah. Like, okay, this, well, I would have yeah, said yeah. Right on. So right and then, on. <laughs> there was issues. So he got big, too big to his head. There wasn't eight, whatever. So he's got too big for his head and is like, I'm a god when it comes to So you think creative. this happened to Neil Druckmann? Yes. And it kind of seems so in terms of things of most people say he's kind of gotten big headed, which it seems true. So they leak a lot. They almost either 90% of the plot or the entire thing's leaked. It's hard to tell, but I've I was trying to avoid spoilers. But a lot of people I follow that my opinion is really close to theirs are like, shit, this is bad. So I see just little tiny tidbits because they just popped up everywhere. I couldn't avoid them. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to spend $300 on the collector's edition if I'm going to hate this game. And I read the synopsis and I canceled my collector's edition. I am getting the regular edition simply so I can review it because there might be a whole episode on here about it. If it's that bad. My wife does not know the spoilers, but she loved the first game because she watched me play it because I've played it four or five times. Right. And after we got married, she moved in and I'm like, here, let me take you through this game because it's best to me. And she's right. like, I love it. She loved the story. And she was excited because she's like, I want to see the sequel story. And then we're seeing the news and we're like, hmm. Oh, no. Because <laughs> my the first thing that seemed to be issues was that people were having problems with when they were coming early on, which didn't really bother me too much. The first thing was some people were complaining that Ellie's gay. And I'm like, um, that was in the first game. Are you guys dumb? Right. So yeah. whatever. That doesn't bother me. It's it, it's a character. Whatever. And then the second thing that a lot of people were complaining about was that the villains seemed to be like a Christian cult. And so they were thinking they were heavily bashing Christians, which apparently it might actually be Worse bashing of Christians than just this is a Christian crazy cult, 
like why I wasn't upset with Far Cry 5 is because they're just a crazy cult. Yes, they say they're Christians and they're following the Bible, but right. not really. Yeah, it's not the they're real just, Bible. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like, hey, the scripture says this, so we're going to go crazy and kill everyone because we're a cult. You know, and me being a Christian, it didn't bother me because I'm like, these are just crazy people, whatever. Right. I get to shoot them in the face. This is fun. Yeah. And it didn't really seem like they're like, hey, all Christians are this crazy and they want everyone to die. They <laughs> hate the world. Where it's seeming in Last of Us 2, it's more going that they're like, yeah, you know, Christians, they're all assholes and this is what they're like. For real? Yeah, it's seeming. Again, I'll know when I right, play the game, right, but it's sure. seeming like that's it's leading crazy, more man. But that's then um, now. No spoilers, man. Yeah. What? <laughs> So no spoilers, oh, man. Who actually cares here? I mean, well, I don't, but the yeah. listeners yeah. might. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. I, 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 that's more the first game. And again, this is still like stuff that was months. This isn't even getting into what's now. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to avoid spoilers as best as I can. I mean, but maybe we'll do a timestamp to where I can just say, hey, right now, skip forward. Spoilers-ish. Yes? You have a button. Oh. A button? Sorry. For what? Spoiler. Not- <laughs> there it is. Hmm. That's the anime that's spoiler. Not me. Interesting. <laughs> that's Sam. Uh, He's so, like, that's not the button I wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, so there, there might be. So I'll try to avoid it. But um, basically, they're introducing a new character that does some things that people very much disagree with, and I do too. And then you're supposed to sympathize with this character, and it's like, how you've done the worst thing you can do. And then you want to make me sympathize with this character in a very poor way. And it's seeming that they're just trying to set up a sequel with these horrible characters instead of dealing with the ones from the first game that you love. In the first game, the plot is super simple. It's get Ellie to the end of the game. That's the plot. The story is what happens between the two characters. And it's amazing because like with this, it's anybody who's a parent could sympathize with Joel. It's just father-daughter relationship, parent-child-like relationship. So a person can sympathize just a relationship. Right. The second game seeming to get into pandering and very specific things that they want you to sympathize. It's all over the map. The plot is like this, this, this. Oh, this person wants revenge. That person wants revenge. This person's going to kill that person. Then this person's going to kill that person. You get to the aim is this person. They're going to kill them. And then you're going to think about killing them, but then they're going to come back and kill you. But then this person's going to survive. And then, oh, they're going to go kill them. So the whole thing is a back and forth revenge. <sighs> okay. And I'm like, I got all that. What it's not a big deal. The shit is this, is this. Yeah. And so they're doing a lot that seems to pander to a crowd that doesn't care about the game. And okay. So, again, I'm trying not to get into the spoilers here because yeah. it's hard to describe. Yeah, they're doing things to characters from the first game that are not good. And then they're making you want to sympathize with new characters that are very villainous. And they're like, no, this is the reason. It's a dumb reason. <laughs> but, you know, the trailers set it up to where it seemed like it was going to go one way. Oh, this character might die. And then you have this simple plot. These two characters might interact and give you that that thing. And maybe by the end of the game, there'll be a good resolution. No, instead... This character dies, and then you're dealing with this. Oh, and then, by the way, we're going to swap you over here so you deal with this person instead. And you're like, why? What are you talking about? What? There was some suspicion when Troy Baker Troy Baker said, hey, by the way... Um, that we talked about that when like, he put out his comments. Curb your, imp- curb your opinions, you know, keep an open mind. Yeah, which is basically, basically his Mark Hamill. I fundamentally disagree with everything you've done, but you're signing my check and I do want to continue playing this character. <laughs> so it's 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 bad enough to the point to where if I wasn't planning on reviewing it, I wouldn't get it. So you canceled your Ellie. I canceled my edition Ellie edition pre-order. And you want to know what happened today? What happened? All of them miraculously came back in stock. Really? Yeah. No All of them shit. all over the internet. They're like, oh, the early edition's back in stock. And I'm like, I fucking wonder why. That's crazy. Yeah. I and assume then, you signed up for like some sort of notifications on that. No, and... it's just on Twitter. Like all of the oh, game. I got it's like okay. GameSpot was saying it. Jeez. And I'm like, yeah. everybody's like, I fucking wonder why. I wonder. We so got yeah, more. <laughs> we got more. We we, yeah. we we got more, and then the director's like, "Oh, we're all heartbroken." And then everybody's like, "Yeah, we were heartbroken when you did this." And I'm like, "Yeah, appa- yeah, it's it's ah, oh. dude, that's crazy." So they yeah. they've come out and said that they're uh, upset that the that the leaks happened. Okay, and so Naughty people, Dog has like, yeah, they said, they've officially said like, "Oh," and he said it in a way like, "Yeah, this is definitely what's happening in the game." Uh, okay, there's no denying it. 
And they're like, oh, the game will be soon in your hands. And then they announced the release date, like right after to be like, oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Like, here's the release date. It's like, just, you know, we're heartbroken about the, the, the release. No matter what you hear, it'll be worth it. The game will be in your hands soon. The delay is probably the worst thing that could have happened to this game yeah. at this point. Yeah. Holy fuck. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it's really, uh, very, very bad. When's it supposed um, to come out? It's supposed to come out June nineteenth, I think. Yeah, something They're like screwed. that. Nineteenth, twenty fifth. Yeah, and that, that's a while from now. It's not like hey, it's out next week. And like, <laughs> do do okay? Can I give like, if you guys don't care, we could cut this out. Can I give you a spoiler? Of what actually happens, because I know what actually happens in the game and what they're doing. I could tell you, so you guys could give me your opinion, and we'll cut it out because it, it's pretty yeah. crazy. I don't know a lot of the uh, first, like the first game. You I don't, don't need to know about the first game, really. I know, um, but if you don't want to, that's cool. But I, I can tell you what happens. I mean, I didn't play The Last of Us. Yeah, you don't have to play the first. I played one, really. the first one. I really liked it. But I mean, yeah, the first one's so good, and the second one, I'm just like, <laughs> I mean, it's really up to you guys. I don't play, care. Uh, I've never played it. I okay. played the first one, but I don't. Do you care, Troy? I'm not gonna play it. I don't yeah. have a PlayStation. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> true. More of the story is okay. So, <laughs> if you want to cut this part out, Ryan, right okay. here. Yeah. So basically, there was a new character they announced called Abby, and it seemed that this person, I thought they had talked about there being flashbacks in the game, and I had suspected that maybe she was Ellie's mom. She gets stabbed right in that area because she's like getting killed by these people, like hung, and people rescue her. Okay. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's why Ellie was immune or whatever. Right. No, it turns out she's the new character, and um, her issue is the fact that Joel killed her parent-ish person in the previous game. Like he, he, I mean, you, you fight people endlessly in the game because it's dog eat dog world, you know? Okay. And so this person's issue is, ah, you killed my dad. So I'm going to come get revenge. And there's been a couple of weird announcements like, and I've seen it in the game. Like, um, they even made a statement that like, they're making all of the women characters more androgynous to not offend trans women. That was a statement they made, which is, you can kind of see it. It's, I don't know. And then there's heavy evidence that for some reason that this character is a trans woman and it looks like a, it kind of looks like a big buff guy, which is just, it's strange because like there's inclusion, but then you're making this trans person be an overly violent, right. angry Villainous person. character. And apparently early like in the really game, inclusion. <laughs> early in the game, in the first few hours, the new villain will kill Joel in front of Ellie and then spend the rest of the game hunting her down. And then there's just this violent revenge back and forth. And then... You take over playing her, not Ellie, and the end of the game is you hunting down and then killing Ellie as the bad guy. And they try to set it up that, oh, these two characters are sympathetic, setting up the sequel. <laughs> that is the fucking game. Jesus Christ. The new villain who kills the character you play in the last game that you love dearly. He's such a good, complex character. Kill him in the first few hours and then you play as him and they say, oh, by the way... Joel killed her father, so sympathize. And now this is who you play as. This, wow. Uh, yeah. That's and that sounds like, terrible. I saw the picture of the cutscene where she kills Joel, and I'm like, that looks like a guy, like huge stock buff. Like, yeah, yeah. Looks like you got massive pecs, and she's like, Rawr. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of scary. And it's not a good look when you have an angry trans person. And the people they right. were pandering to, which was that community, they're like, we don't want this because you're just going to no. make it look like trans women are violent. That's, yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. And so, you know, what like. What the hell? Yeah. And it's like, I'm not against any of that stuff. You do what you do. It's, it's, so it's just, but it's weird to bring in these characters. And like, I was very worried that they were going to go like kind of trying to make political statements and be more modern mm -hmm. when it's like. This doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say in this instance, if they make a bunch of Trump jokes, that wouldn't make sense because the freaking game right. takes place in 2009 or 2010 and there's been a post-apocalyptic. Right. There's been no President Trump for them to go, ah, fuck right. the orange man. Right. And there was talk about it and then him saying, oh, this, the, you know, keep an open mind when it's like, yeah, uh, you're going to bring in a new villain that's not going to be good for any side. Bash that's Christians, bizarre, man. put trans people in a bad light kill the characters that we loved, just make the whole thing a revenge plot with no good emotional attachments, and then give us these two new characters that you want us to sympathize with. Forcing someone to like someone doesn't work. 
It was like in the, the new Star Wars movies where they're like, love Ray, love Ray. And everybody kind of more liked Kylo Ren and Ben because he just was a better character. And you right, kind he's of, a more sympath- fleshed you know, out more character. Fleshed out character. Yeah. People decide who they liked. They loved in the first fucking game, Ellie and Joel. They loved those characters. Why bring in new ones just to make a political statement where right. 80% of your audience doesn't care? In fact, I want to say like 30 to 40% will probably just be against that type of thing because they are. Yeah. So I I don't get the point of making a political statement of I don't really like political statements in games in any sense bashing mm-hmm. anybody because it's like the gamers don't care. We just want a good game. Right. And right. with modern politics in the games when it doesn't fit, it's a zombie apocalypse. What does it have to do with a zombie apocalypse? Cuz it, it, it just doesn't make sense yeah, in no. that context for yeah, sure. Like I don't have a problem with games yeah. broaching subjects that are complicated or uncomfortable to talk yeah. about uh but it when doesn't it fits. when it fits right. It doesn't yeah. seem like any They're, of that works though. Yeah, trying to do something that is supposedly trans rights in a post-apocalyptic zombie video game when they never interacted with that topic before doesn't mm. make much sense. And then you're kind of putting them in a bad light, too, by making that person overly violent. Yeah, that's bizarre. And then they make you play this person right. or yes. you just killed the and it, And character. the, the okay. weird statement, too, of we're making the women more androgynous to not offend trans women is weird. Because how about a couple? Like, and the person did an, an analysis, and you can see it. There's one girl who's the girlfriend of Ellie, and he had a picture of her next to her character model. She looks more feminine you know, body shape and shoulders. She has a larger bust. Her model, smaller bust, square shoulders, looks more like a man. And it's like, she's literally right there. Right. And you, she, like, you took her face, but made the body different. And it's like. It's weird. What's the point? I mean, yeah. again, Far Cry 5 made sense because it's just a crazy game. And they're like, yeah, this is kind yeah, of political. Far Cry 5 is just a sandbox, yeah. right? Like, yeah. they're not, I mean, they're yeah. not necessarily telling a story yeah. there. The good part. With Last of Us was the story. Right. The plot right. was super simple. The story was good. It's just the relationship. You're getting rid now of that it's a relation- relationship. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, you're to getting rid of the cook. relationships. Because my honest thought was with the trailers, it looked like Ellie's girlfriend was going to get killed. Mm-hmm. And then she wanted a revenge crest with Joel going to find this homophobic cult, supposedly. Yeah. And then maybe through the story, he helps her grow as a character and be like, revenge isn't everything. Whereas now, Even- it's just Joel's going to be killed in the beginning. And then it's her and her girlfriend going off on an adventure. The girlfriend's pregnant with some other dude's kid because then they broke up and then he gets killed. And so Ellie and her are like, well, let's have a family together. And then the uh, trans lady you will play as is then going to hunt them down and kill them both. Even having a homophobic like, call in a post-apocalyptic yeah. game is a weird thing to do. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's oddly political. Yeah. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's very, <laughs> and then, very weird. Like, it's not even, needed. Even yeah. I, the, the the ending is a little ambiguous with some of the leaks because there's some showing where Ellie and her girlfriend live and then there's some showing where they don't. I don't think they do because apparently the cutscene, she brutally beats the shit out of both of them, slits the throat of the girlfriend and then almost kills or does kill Ellie. Right. So I don't know. The end is apparently you killing them. And if it's not, the sequel that they set up from people doing the little things is Ellie trying to hunt you two down being the uh, trans lady and then the guy that she's traveling around with, with, I don't know, is or isn't she's the, 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 there's an Asian boy that that character is traveling around with who is played by a trans actor. So I don't know if that character also is or not. I, I yeah. don't know yet. Yeah. But it might be set up that these two characters who you play in a sequel and Ellie is the villain hunting you down. That's, that's the two ways. Either you kill everyone right. or the sequel. And it's like, that's an odd way to be like, we're done playing this game. Get rid of everybody, but you're going to kill him. Yes. Yeah, I would I would be OK if you get if the events are the same, but you're not playing as them. I don't want to play as a person who just killed the one of my favorite video game characters if, and if then hunt gonna, down and brutally you, kill a pregnant woman. I feel like if you're going to kill the guy, at least you got to do it at the end. Yeah. Or if you're going to do it in the beginning, make it to where it works. Which it's is really I can, I can like, understand yeah. where if you get a few hours into the game or whatever and they kill him only because it gives you the idea like, oh, shit, I might not even survive this game. Yeah. And then you play as the killer is the problem. But that's, after that's that. what I'm saying is but they if, make it. If Neil Druckmann wanted to tell that story, like why 
put it in a universe where he's already established characters and the way the universe yeah. kind I of works. Like, why like wouldn't you just make your own game? Like, make a different game. I, I don't, feel yeah. like that's because yeah. of the hype that Just Cause Two would get. And like I said, I don't you know last anything. Cause? Let, let a, last of Us. Yeah, last last cause excuse too. me. Yeah. Don't know why I said Just Cause. Just Cause. I haven't played either. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah. Regardless, I'm. I feel like he maybe in a sense he got too trapped in like woke culture. Yeah, to where he's right. trying to appease to like everyone at the same time, but also be like, you know, anybody can die. I'm not trying to spe- like single out one person at a time. Like Game of Thrones, yeah. it basically. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe he saw but the end of the last it, season. He's like, yeah. that's what that's I want. what yeah. I want. That's what a lot of people are making comparisons to. And again, I will review it when I get it, and we'll have an episode where maybe I'll be like, guys. It was such a great I'll, game. I'll yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. Okay, I doubt that. But I, I, I don't know. Know. collector's you edition know. on eBay for fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I, I, I really doubt I'm gonna love it because it's just barring any of the political nonsense. Being the person who kills Joel just right. doesn't sit right with me when I love that character. I myself was like, I really want to play Joel again because I just, I love that character so much. Yeah, and. I it's, hope you love yeah. him for two hours that you get yeah, to play with Yeah, they say him. it's a few hours, and I'm like, you kidding, right? I mean, because people were hyped for him. They love him. They released a trailer where he just like, you think I let you do this on your own? And then he joined you, and that trailer, huge. Everybody's like, fuck yeah, Joel. We so oh, hot. shit, that's pumped. why they did it. Yeah. And but, then it's like, oh, by the way, he dies in the first few hours. That's why they And then did you're going to travel around with your girlfriend and then be killed by yourself. <laughs> and it's like what this entire game's about masturbation you're probably gonna <laughs> yeah. your oh god <laughs> yeah. so obviously when i have some context but even with yeah. the context it just sounds like oh the context makes sense but fuck well we definitely yeah. look forward yeah. to having a long a longer conversation about that yeah. when that yeah. game comes, comes out. out and but- i get to be depressed but luckily ghost of tsushima's coming out i love sucker punch and it's just I don't know what they could throw into that game. So you, so I, yeah. I got, I, I went on GameStop. I was gonna go to Best Buy, but they had it sold out. I went to GameStop and they did have the collector's edition, which I did order for Ghost of Tsushima. So you spent the money that you... it was cheaper actually. Oh, okay, all right. But yeah, so I canceled double last, win. Yeah, <laughs> double no, win. I, I, I canceled Last of Us, ordered the regular edition, and then I got the collectors of Ghost, which I'm excited for. And yeah, then I have to go to a couple of GameStops and get some money as back. It looks that that game looks very. <laughs> it does fun. look good, and I mean, I the love Sucker Punch. Friends, Their yeah. games are very, very fun, and with what they're talking about, I'm enjoying it. I like a lot of the games that have that type of stuff, like the the ninjas and samurais and all yeah. that stuff. And I like um, Big Sekiro, Ninja fan. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta end this. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening. This has been Crazy Train of Thought episode, whatever the fuck we're on. Thank you, Troy, yep. for being here. Thank you, Philip. Fuck Last of Us for 2. For ranting about yeah. Last of Us 2. Thank you, Justin. I'll see you guys in like seven months. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Austin. Same thing. Appreciate you coming back. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Obviously, thank you, Colin. See you yeah, guys I've been your host, Ryan Wolf. We are done. We'll see you later tonight. Goodbye, everybody. Gandhi yeah. and civilization loves nukes. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> COVID-19 Is that soft, folks? I didn't yeah. play a lot of it My It was my brother's think, game So it was oh, That makes sense Because you get it pretty early You have early a brother? On. Yeah Wow And a sister are these more mirrors? Oh, you're yeah, an only child. Say are these more mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> I just put like a dress on. I'm like, oh, yeah. Justin. Yeah. How's it going? I'm you're like, shut up, bitch. Your schizophrenia is getting I ahead like of you. I'm putting chemicals in the water that turn, turn the, the freaking frogs, frogs gay. Frickin Do you frogs understand gay. that? Freaking frogs, uh, uh, <laughs> frogs gay. You ever seen a straight frog? I haven't. <clears throat> I've kissed him to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Frog's game. 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 Frog's